This is a HeadGum Podcast. Coffee President. No, I don't mean Starbucks CEO and humiliated presidential also ran Howard Schultz. Coffee President refers to a series of Brazilian chief executives during the nation's transition from colonial rule to self-governance in the 19th and 20th centuries, when the national economy was heavily reliant on coffee exports. That financial reality remains the case today in the world's fifth-largest country by population. Although here in America, Colombia or Ethiopia are more commonly used national monikers to market the mean caffeine bean, Brazil is still the global leader in the coffee trade, nearly doubling the output of second-place Vietnam. But uninterestingly, the coffee plant is not native to the soccer powerhouse, having been imported in the 18th century from its homeland in East Africa. Though there's an increasingly popular fruit that is native to Brazil, the acai berry which indigenous Amazonians have harvested and consumed for generations. Commonly pureed and frozen due to its delicate nature, Brazil began exporting acai in earnest in the 1990s, and in the 2000s, boosted by pseudoscientific health hype and later social media influencers, the so-called superfood became a trend among health-conscious Americans. In 2016, a Brazilian entrepreneur opened an acai bowl and smoothie concept that eyed global expansion from the get-go. And during the consecutive administrations of three controversial Brazilian non-coffee presidents, corrupt and indicted Tamer, far-right authoritarian Bolsonaro, and jailed leftist Lula, the brand has grown exponentially to over 600 franchises with hopes for 1,000 by the end of 2024. So in Brazil, coffee has stayed hot, but acai is acai sending. This week on Doughboys, Oak Berry. Welcome to Doughboys, the podcast about chain restaurants. I'm Nick Weiger, along with my co-host, Mr. Baja Blast into the Shower. The Spoon Man, Mike Mitchell. Jesus Christ. Baja Blast in the shower. By the way, Jemmy was yawning before the episode even started. Yeah, kind of a mood setter. We're not doing good. We're not doing good, guys. He's talking about hairnets in the shower. She wasn't into it. (laughs) Uh, Just got out of Dune 2. Had a lot of time to think about this roast during the movie from TG. Roastedbirdfuck.com. There you go. I I think one final Taco Bell roast to bid goodbye to the, the Tournament, tournament of Champions. Over. It's in a rear view. We're finally Ooh. done with People are For Whom the it, Bell Does, Much Madness 2024, the Tournament of Champions 9, Do Quiero Taco Bell. People are calling it the Dynasty Screwjob. Did you know this? Because <laughs> Cheesy Gordita Crunch lost out to BB Cheesy- Five Layer Burrito? Yes. Wow. <laughs> and also, I, I think it's a great outcome. Wait, I actually have beef about this. Susser never said Jemmy could come back in the studio. <gasps> How did the Double Decker Taco do? Uh, here's the thing. <laughs> here's a, this, this, that's a great question. And because it is, Taco Bell, I always hit those underrated. I, I love the double we, we love it too, but they keep Taco Bell took it off of their menu. Yes, and it's, it's the double stack it's double taco stack right taco now, now which is its and own there's thing. no and so in between the two tacos, there's no beans. Yeah, and so it is. It's um, dry. It's not the same. You can't have a dry taco. No, 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 okay, okay. no one wants a dry no taco. One wants a dry taco. No one wants to try to be a dry guy. Wagner is about to make a joke about me in some way. I feel like I think the subtext was clear. Wags, you. Cur- By the way, you cursed the cheesy gordita crunch, much like you cursed Hillary Clinton in the 2016 election. Because they said it was going to win. You said it was going to win. Yeah. It did not win. Wow. Here's my question to you. <laughs> I if thought you- it was a, it was the heavy favorite. It would have been the better's choice. If you go, b- I was the heavy favorite of the show. Uh, <laughs> if, if you go, if you go, b- fired at Gabriel. <laughs> yeah. Oh shit. Pretty heavy too. Uh, if you go, if you review every podcast we've done. Yeah. How many times have you mentioned loving the cheesy gordita crunch? Multiple times. Number of times, yeah. How many times have you brought up the potato soft taco? Not often, nearly as much. But you know what? In the context of this tournament, I think it really shined. And I, I think it I think it was a great outcome. Mono and Betsy are fucking Judases. <laughs> Two Mono Judases. and Betsy with me voted for the spicy potato soft taco over the cheesy gordita crunch. I stand by that. I think it'd have that for every order. The cheesy gordita crunch is a little bit more of an indulgence. It's bullshit. I've never I'm, been a Taco Bell person. No. Interesting. But well, it's because I'm Canadian and we don't have time. Yeah. 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 We have yep. taco time. 
That's right. right. And we've had Taco Time, and we had one bad version of we Taco had the Time, ba- right? So there's a few different Taco Times. It's like a split brand, but we had the bad one in the Pacific Northwest. I don't know if the Canadian one is any better. It's probably the same. Okay. <laughs> that is the Pacific Northwest. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's where I'm from. <laughs> yeah. But there is a brand divide between A&W America and A&W Canada. Oh, my gosh. Canada. A&W Ooh. Canada is so A&W much better. A&W Canada is the amazing. Yeah. Yeah. The one in the U.S., not so much. No. Yeah. It's yeah. gross. Gross, Root gross. beer's gross. always flat there. Yeah. The bummer. Gross. Yeah. I'm gonna be. I might be in Canada this year for a while, so I'm, wow. I'm excited what? to eat some. Yeah, go get some like a teen burger combo with poutine instead of regular fries. Oh, no, um, poutine! I'm down. You had Wagner. You're teen. from LA. All right. <laughs> poutine has mayonnaise. Mayonnaise is gross. There's no mayonnaise in it. Yeah, it cheese like curds. <laughs> the white creamy stuff. It looks anyway. <laughs> I don't like mayo. I don't like white creamy stuff unless it's ice cream. But then I'll it's getting it. out of hand. Yeah. This is actually perfect for this podcast. <laughs> yeah. Dry tacos and white creamy stuff. That's great. We're doing great, guys. Welcome to the show. <laughs> oh, wait, I got to do a drop. Wait, what are you, you going to do? I was just going to shout out that, that we had our bracket challenge during the tournament. Yes. One entrant, uh, an anonymous entrant, we do not have their name, so please identify yourself to the Doughboys Gmail correctly guessed both the beefy five-layer burrito as the winner and Gidget the Taco Bell Chihuahua as the heart of a champion. Uh, we're winning we're over asking them Demi. to reveal themselves to us. We don't know who it is. Yeah, we want to dox them. Oh, all right. I mean, we're, we're not going to say what, what, like, who they are, but they're, what, however a, they want to identify wait, themselves. they won anonymously? They just put in they they put in an email. I don't want to just read off their email oh, here. So let's yeah. do it. Tell us, <laughs> <laughs> let us know how you'd like to be identified uh, so we can graduate you properly. But uh, and they, good on they actually them. won a dachshund? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Did you say that? No. No, I said a one over Jemmy, uh, the other dog in the studio. Oh, yeah. okay. I thought the dachshund was the... Pro- Never mind. <laughs> that, I'm glad that you didn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> it would have been weird yes. to award a dog. One, two, Judas who betrayed me. I was trying to, <laughs> I was trying to do two Judases, like two, two princes. princes. Yeah. I mean, it didn't work out great. I tried it. I see what you're going for. That's kind of tough. Yeah. By the way, Bugman just texted me. Wags. Yeah. Our, we have a friend, Bugman. Yes. Uh, and he said, uh, "Easter's coming up, boys." That's what he just texted me. <laughs> That's it. Love it. I have a thing. You guys having like a little Easter egg hunt? <laughs> no. He's, he's that. <laughs> tell tell, tell he's this guy, guy. All right. Tell this guy this. Like, where do the eggs come from? Hmm? Because the bunnies lay eggs? No. no. They're thieves. They steal the <laughs> eggs, and they don't give them as gifts. They hide them. Bugman will come they, up they with- They hide the eggs from kids. That's a dick move. Bug, Bugman will come up with some horrible way where the eggs came up from, I'm sure. Oh, no. He stole- Yeah, he's like, a horrible- Oh, is he anti-bunny? Uh, <laughs> Maybe we're friends. I don't know what his stance is on bunnies. We should figure out what Bugman's yeah. stance okay. on bunnies we'll are. Yeah, yeah, I got a very specific know. opinion of, about bunnies. <laughs> yeah. How's Jemmy feel about bunnies? I imagine uh, Pro likes chasing them. She loves chasing them. I've actually seen her yeet herself over a six foot fence after a bunny. Wow. So, Whoa. <laughs> yeah. She took off running and like flew over the fence to chase a bunny. And that rocks. Yeah. That Aww. is amazing. Okay. She wants to kill it, I'm guessing. Yeah, right? she wants to eat it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Our Pomeranians just like bark at stuff and don't. You, you have two very sweet Pomeranian dogs. They're uh, like alarm dogs. They are yeah. very much like alarm dogs. Yeah. I. They, you know, I, I, they got used to me almost by the la- by the end of the last time I was over, yeah. uh, just recently. Right. They, they, they stopped barking at me a little bit, which is good. And then oh. Bowie for like, you know, he's like goldfish brain, right? So it's like he like turns away and then he's like, "Who are you?" Like all over again. <laughs> I yeah. like that if you hold him. He's quiet. He's fine. He yeah. won't be mad at you either if you hold him. But yeah. if, but if not, he's just barking. Right if you in your walk face. into the house, he barks. Or if you leave, he barks. Yeah. yeah. He just wants everyone he's to like, sit on the couch. Who are you? And then he meets you. He's like, "Don't leave. <laughs> Stay forever. <laughs> <laughs> you live here now." <laughs> but you got to play a drop so oh. we can properly introduce. I'm gonna hit him with a I drop. Guess. Drop. Just a minute. It appears Robotnik is up to his usual no good. Don't waste your time trying to get away, Sonic. The metal cleats on your track shoes are being pulled by my magnetic pedomatic, yeah, which boy. will turn you into hot salad. Yum, yum, yum. <laughs> Timely Sonic the Hedgehog drop with the announcement of the IHOP Sonic the Hedgehog menu. That's true. Yeah. yeah. We may cover it some point in this podcast, although I gotta Good say. Segue. A little disappointed because it doesn't seem like any of these are new menu items. It just seems like they're rebranded menu items. 
This, this, like uh, it talked about how the Sonic's Blue Blur special is actually just their blueberry, oh, double blueberry geez, pancakes. Here we go. Renaming pancakes. Yeah. And then Knuckles Chicken Sandwich is just a chicken sandwich they already have on their menu. Same issue. Lame. Mm. Yeah. The no t- creative, Tails, two creativity. by two by two, two pancakes, two eggs, any style, two strips of bacon. IHOP already has that shit. Why are you crediting it to Tails? If I worked in an IHOP restaurant and yeah. I was listening or watching this right now, seeing you, I'd be terrified. Of that. <laughs> <laughs> You're mad. <laughs> One day, <laughs> this guy is going to show up at 3 a.m. <laughs> to a 24 hour IHOP. Me and a bunch of Doughboys fans pulling a January 6th at IHOP. <laughs> <laughs> now you're starting. <laughs> this is how it starts. <laughs> uh, this, this email, uh, the, the body of the email says, well, it's Sonic Hot Salad Drop. The body says, attached, Chris Finky. That's wow, Finky. thanks, Finky. Good job, Finky. Good job, Finky. Drops at birdfuck.com. Hot Salad Drop. Uh, yeah, don't don't think too hard about it. Yeah, <laughs> it's okay. stupid. We, Wager likes hot salad. I don't. Like, I don't like hot salad. Hot salad. Thing made up. It's not true. But but you do like a grilled romaine salad. You said I have had a grilled romaine salad that was quite pleasant. Yeah, but I don't like hot salad as a default. Okay. Yeah. Fair. Hey, I don't Mitch, believe you. What is happening? <laughs> Well, hot salad. You know yeah. okay, that question is going to come up in your head a lot throughout this episode. <laughs> really evaluating my choices right now. <laughs> Our guest you say is. food and then drop, but just never mind. Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> Our guest today from AEW. You can watch their show Johnny Loves Taya on yeah. AEW YouTube. New episodes every Wednesday. Johnny TV and Taya Valkyrie. Thanks so much for being here, Johnny Taya. What a treat! Wow. Aw, thank you for having us. Two of the coolest the guests team. we've ever had in the studio. That's true, but also. It's not really a compliment. <laughs> <laughs> it's not hard. <laughs> the, old, the, the old Howard Finkel line. These guests are among the very coolest guests that we've ever had in the studio. <laughs> Wait a minute. Two weeks ago, we had Susser and Kowalik both on an episode. So, <laughs> so Oh, never mind. Among, I take it back. <laughs> among the very coolest yeah, guests. Yeah. Because <laughs> he would never... Say, this is the best. This is among the very best. <laughs> uh, we're, we're thrilled to have you, uh, uh, both big fans. Uh, and we're talking earlier, you were from Vancouver. and Victoria. And Victoria, I yes. apologize. Nice try, Wags. Victoria. Okay, Victoria, British Columbia. Yes. Um, and uh, are there any, we already talked about a Canada, which, uh, which I was going to ask about, but are there any other like Canadian chains that really tickle your fancy? Yes, what other chains tickle your fancy? <laughs> Not a normal way to or, say that. Or what, what towns are there that sound oh, gosh. fake? Like there's Chimanus, Nanaimo, a bunch of towns on like uh, Vancouver Island that I thought were just fake. He literally <laughs> argues with me every time we go, Parksville's not a real Nanaimo? spot. That's or, stupid. Nanaimo's. <laughs> oh my God. It turns out that they're real and there's a, Nanaimo bars or what Nanaimo is Have known you ever for. had one of those? No. What I'll are, bring you some next time. What oh, is it? Oh, yeah. From Canada. It's like a like the size of a brownie. Okay. But it's a Nanaimo bar and it has like nougaty and then like cream and then chocolate on top. I'm on board. That's fantastic. It, it yeah. was it was very good. I was skeptical. Yeah. yeah, those are one of Canada's, you know, top top up there. Wow. Yeah, that's that. desserts and delight. We also we we I feel like we've heard of, of a lot of I've never I don't think we've ever talked. No, about we've been shipped a lot of Canadian snacks, but not that specifically. I can't remember. All right, I'll, I'll put it in a request with my mother, and yeah, she'll bring you guys a slab of Nanaimo, <laughs> Nanaimo bars, bars to review. <laughs> so you, we we talked about A and W before. Uh, uh-huh. Wait, did we do was that A and W Canada? Yeah, A and W Canada. Yeah, yeah, A and W Canada. But uh, what what other what yes, other Taco Time? We were talking Taco about Taco Time. Mm. I mean, they were all you know my my top places I went to when I was in junior high. Walked yeah. them all, get those you know McDonald's, the standard issue sure. kind yeah. of stuff. But uh, what, what's the difference in McDonald's up there? Poutine in the McDonald's. There's no basically. poutine in, oh. in at McDonald's. I always just had it at A and W. You know, right? Got it. You know, 21 year old me leaving the bar, getting going through the drive through with my friends in a cab, and getting the teen burger combo with poutine. That's those that Jersey great. Shore. I, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Get I had some fashion hair, choices. Super tan. Fashion choices were made. Christian Audige had already. Yeah. Canadian Jersey Shore, basically. Yeah, it was <laughs> Sounds like a bad really TV really sketch in a way. It was up there. Yeah. I like Jack Astor's. That's the Canadian thing, right? Or is that everywhere? I don't know. Jack Astor's? Jack Astor's. Oh, I thought it was like, I thought it was a Canadian it's, jackass it's, spinoff. It's got a T. It like Jack Astor's. It does sound like a Canadian. It does sound like a Canadian. Jack Astor's. Jack Astor's. Yeah. Is, is that a chain? I feel like that was like, like, a, like a pub kind of. Okay. Oh. It's like a TJ like bar, yeah, like a bar restaurant big. kind of thing. Right, right, right. That's not where we went. Remember, we went to that one kind of no. That was not a. Oh, chain. and also that was in what the hell is that place that we went to? 
uh, Saskatoon. Saskatoon. Oh, Saskatoon, yeah. Saskatoon. Sorry. Saskatoon. And we were in Saskatoon. Yeah, yeah we've was... been to we've done Doughboys live in Canada twice, or I'm sorry, three times, twice in Vancouver and once in Saskatoon. And when we, we told, never anything in Toronto. Oh. Never been to Toronto. You guys gotta go to Calgary. Oh. He, he skips Calgary, Toronto, yeah. Montreal for Saskatoon. We, we got went to look, Saskatoon. Yeah, I'm like it's a choice. <laughs> yeah. They, there was a great festival up there, Winteruption, and they invited us specifically, and we went up there and had a uh, a weird time. It's it's cold <laughs> and it's very uh, barren. So yeah. I will make a request yeah. for you guys to do, to, like, especially if you want to try some Canadian. Uh, Snacks yeah. is going to Calgary during Stampede, and they have okay. 10 days of rodeo and parties. Wow. So it's like a fairground as well as the rodeo and parties and nightclubs and pancake breakfast with beer and whiskey at like 9 in the morning. Oh, that sounds fun. For 10 days straight. You need to... I saw we got to introduce you to Wags a little bit more. Here, yeah. <laughs> He's not going to Bush was playing it. in a strip mall party. Well, it's got, got, oh, got, oh, it was, I mean, this sounds like a blast They have deep fried sounds... Oreos, deep fried little, you know, Stampede donuts. I love it. And it, 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 it beats when we went to Saskatoon, getting a warning about walking home alone and freezing to death. It's yeah, great. it sounds right. yeah, great. No, better than that. Yeah, no, and this is during the summer. Oh, that's and it's yeah. during the summer. That sounds, sounds fun. Good. July. I'd be into the rodeo yeah. and also that the pancake breakfast. Oh yeah, kidding me? The problem would be getting this guy up in time. What? You wouldn't want to get up at <laughs> nine a.m. pancake <laughs> breakfast. I would go to the pancake breakfast with you. We'll see. You can just take a nap afterwards. Yeah. I fucking yeah. ride your ass around the rodeo. <laughs> You guys could have matching outfits. You know, why not? I don't trust the fake bulls in Canada, for the record. <laughs> There's a whole story behind this that, you get, that Ty can tell if she wants. The what? The fake bulls. The mechanical fake bulls? bulls? Oh, the mechanical bulls. Yeah, remember yeah. That, when you that? fell off a... Yeah. <laughs> Like mechanical you always fall off the bowl and you count like on the padding. Sure, yeah. The padding was not blown up and John yeah. took a back bump oh, on the floor. Like, man. like oh, it man. threw my back out. It was like the worst bump that I've taken like almost <laughs> wow. ever. You also wow. been doing shots. Twenty three years of wrestling. Wow. Okay. Like I, it was right before New Year's. Like I, like, I couldn't walk yeah. and I had to like I had to call in some favors. New Year's some like all awkwardly. Calgary chiropractors. It was great. That's brutal. yeah. And you were you have taken quite a you've taken yeah I've taken a lot of bumps. Oh, yeah. So I figured out oh, like, a little padding. But then it just bottomed out and like it <laughs> hit my back. Like, oh no, we didn't blow the. Also, they thing up. shotgun wine coolers there in the basement. <laughs> this does sound like something I'd be up for. It, it was is... it was very interesting. I was like, if I'm up for the pancake breakfast, you got to be up for the wine cooler. I mean, like, a wine cooler. I've never even heard of that. I worked in nightclubs yeah, yeah, yeah. at night. So I know I was a lot of like, people. Yeah. People drink the wine coolers and a bunch of wine coolers and then take a bump off a bowl and. Wine coolers are one of those things that I feel like have been completely replaced by like the hard seltzer. I was gonna say yeah, like a white claw. Yeah, yeah. 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 I, like I don't know where you'd even get a wine cooler anymore. They must find them there. Of Calgary. <laughs> <laughs> of Cowboys in Calgary. <laughs> they still have Zimas. They have all this stuff. Did you guys have revs? Do you remember those? Revs. revs. Do you remember revs? No, I don't no. think so. They were like toxic goo, green colored, and like bright, like neon blue. This sounds right up my alley. And they were, I don't, yeah, maybe it's a Canadian cooler thing, oh. but people used to drink them like you'd have three cups with three friends and you pour them out and everyone chugs it as fast as they can, like a fly. Do you know what they sound like? They, it sounds like, uh, are they Mad Dog? Remember Mad, like, a, oh, is that what they're called? What, Mad Dog 2020? 2020s, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that, that's like fortified sound... wine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, and they were, they could be br pretty bright colored too, right? Yeah, right? Like they're neon. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. probably not good for your gut. Yes, yes. Oh, yeah. for But that does sound fun. I mean, <laughs> We were, we were, sounds we, like a headache. We were, yeah. we had mad, we had mad dogs. Also, like cider jab back in the day, the toxic stuff or uh, schnapps, peach schnapps. Right? Oh, oh, yeah. Sure. Yeah. yeah. I shouldn't talk about 16 year old drinking, but whatever. <laughs> that's what we got into. Well, I know. I feel like that era was a lot of like, like really shitty beer, like the cheapest beer yeah. you could get. Or and then Mickey's, also, Mickey's like malt Mickey, liquor. Yeah, Mickey's fine malt liquor, which I was drinking Ugh. in my 20s. And then also, yeah, rough stuff. And then the other His one 7 Eleven guy called him Mickey Man. He started calling me Mickey Man oh, really? at the time. Yeah. Wow. I was getting him Nickname too frequently. And all. Yeah. <laughs> that's that was kind of like a first like you know warn I was like I gotta stop doing this. I would start... call it a badge of honor. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Mickey man. The other thing I remember is a lot of like uh, coconut rum. Well, Malibu. Oh, Malibu. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. And, like in Calgary, you can drink like the legal drinking limit age limit is eighteen. Wow. So everybody is like sugar, yeah. like sugar, sugar, sugar. And also and probably chaos. better. I mean, it probably works better than it does here. It's yeah. one of those things where it like. It makes sense, but also I think what it does to highway fatality rates is so like evident, yeah. like you know that they just like they've raised the age because it lowers drunk driving. Uh, a grim topic that it's perhaps a, we should yeah. have to. <laughs> a tough, <laughs> tough debate. Yeah. yeah. 
Here's I'm, what it did for us, though. Like, usually when we go to a, res- a restaurant, we both order drinks, and the server will always give her this big fruity pina colada and me the dry martini or the glass of wine. And then we have the switch. I have the same <laughs> thing not. happen because I like all the time. Yeah, <laughs> like sweet fruity drinks. Yeah, no, for sure that happens all the time with with with, parasol. with me yeah. and Natalie. Uh, is that uh, she will like have like you know like hey you got the uh, you got the 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 whiskey old fashioned um and I've got the chocolate choo choo and then like yeah but they'll right. they'll, they'll like give a little um, umbrella and a marshmallow exactly on top or yeah something. and they're giving that to her they're 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 being very gender normative in their drink assignment yep. and we'll have to switch I'm or like, we'll tell no. the server sometimes how's that yeah. chocolate choo choo good as hell you Sounds love it delicious. I didn't even have one <laughs> sounds like something my mom would give me I like it <laughs> she she called me today well she calls me every she wakes me up she's my alarm yeah so she called me today <laughs> Michael That's Cute. Time to wake up. <laughs> the cute. chocolate choo-choo is pulling into the station. <laughs> oh, no. It's 11.45. Choo-choo. <laughs> <laughs> can, can I ask a question about, about food and wrestling? Because Mitch and I experienced AEW catering firsthand, mm-hmm. um, but we did not have, like, to work that night. No. And I think a big a big thing you and I experienced, Mitch, is like, well, we just did a show this past week. Yeah, yeah. Uh, We're having tummy trouble. We got to get up there. But all we got to do is like talk into a microphone. Yeah, like yeah. what What are, I, I'm, I'm, I'm just curious, like, uh, like what is your pre-show meal regimen and like your pre-match meal regimen? And like, how much do you take into account? Like how much, how physically active you have to be? I personally don't eat a lot the yeah. day of, you know, that I, when I know I'm wrestling and stuff like that, right. just because like of my nerves, number one, obviously. Mm-hmm. And also I'm going to be wrestling on national television in spandex. For yeah. sure. Yeah. Uh, yep. So I will eat very like I'm highly caffeinated. <laughs> and then like I do like more of like the salad bar stuff if I need, you know, hard boiled egg and some salad or, you know. And if I really need some sugar right before I wrestle is my new thing is a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Oh, how that's fun great. Is that? Yeah. yeah. That's, then, yeah. When we do a live show where I think it's a simple, well, unless we have to eat the dog shit we're reviewing beforehand we yeah. we we will we'll will not i will usually like won't even sometimes eat we'll eat after the show yeah like, yeah for I sure feel like nerves right that's like, exactly right. what i do except after the show like she'll walk into catering and i'll just have a plate full of cookies and cakes and brown that's all that's left usually yeah yeah i'll just I'm like eat, are you like, gonna, 2, you gonna eat all calories this? <laughs> <laughs> because i've starved myself all day and there's no food right. left yeah and then there's always you know Especially depending the on day what we city visited, you're in we, we, we when we were visiting uh i think me and jr were hovering over the the brisket well, for a very yeah, long you, time you've yeah. <laughs> seen it right like, there's a lot of like really at good at the end food, of the night but... they moved right. the brisket out and there's just a big plate of cookies and brownies yeah yeah it was uh, we were we were we were really Genuinely impressed with the food. We thought it was really good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Colt Cabana Quite a shout spread. out. Got us. Got us. Uh, yeah, shout out Colt. There to review. Yeah. What's up, Colt? The same day Mark Marin was there. Remember? That's right. And it Mark was Henry. Also Mark Marin. It was that sad <laughs> thing of we were the like the much less famous podcast. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> You guys might have got more recognized than Mark Marin, though. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Um, oh, Mark Henry did sit down and talk to us for a long time about food. He's the best. It was lovely great. conversation. Was a, oh, lovely yeah. He conversation. was a big Honestly, fan. He was such a big fan that I don't even know if, that he told me about talking to you. Re- oh no! Wow. Way. wow. Yep. That's wow. incredible. We love. I mean, it was. It made our. He told us a great story about he had. Was it? Was it gumbo that he tried? He had some gumbo in a restaurant, in a I restaurant. think, and, and and he was not satisfied. And he was it. not satisfied. Yeah. And then he said to them, like, I'm going to show you how to make it. And we were saying, this sounds like a Mark Henry thing where, like, he just is saying it. And they're like, okay. <laughs> they let him do what he wants. And right. he's like, I cooked gumbo till the sun came up. Remember he said that? Like, at oh some restaurant. Gosh. Something like that, yeah. <laughs> I love it's great. I wouldn't great. kick Mark Henry out of my restaurant. That's, what, that's exactly. I think like, that was it. Do whatever you want. I think you're good. Yeah. <laughs> He did say, yo, John, I just met that one guy. No one that never misses a meal, man. <laughs> <laughs> he did, dude. He called, he called, he, he, yeah, he did. He said, said, he said, he said, he said, you look like you never miss a meal. Yeah, he did. <laughs> I was like, you're Might like. Might have been his opener. The, yeah, dude. To me, like the, the, like the, the, like the biggest man in the world. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Be like, hey, what's up, big guy? <laughs> <laughs> Should have been a wake up call. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, we were very. It was the food was was impressive. What a hoot that was! Yeah, yeah it was great. A hoot. 
Uh, all right, John, I have, I have an incomplete list of your nicknames. I'm going to run through these and, and let me know if there are any key ones are missing. But but this, this is what I this is what I have for today. OK, Johnny Blackcraft, Johnny Blaze, Johnny Caballero, Johnny Elite, Johnny Fusion, Johnny Game Changer, Johnny Hardy, Johnny Impact, Johnny Mundo, Johnny Nitro, Johnny Onyx, Johnny Progress, Johnny Spade, Johnny Superstar, Johnny TV. And perhaps for today. Johnny Podcast. Johnny Podcast. Wow. Johnny Doughboy. Johnny Doughboy. Johnny Doughboy. Johnny Doughboy. Ooh, Why? see? Now we just added Doughboy. two to the list. Mm, do you want to be married to Johnny Doughboy? <laughs> that's, a, that's a different guy. <laughs> so it sounds a little different. Uh, you're yeah. forgetting one spe- special one. He wrestled with me as my partner at Lucha Bavoom as Johnny Valkyrie, guys. Wow. Yeah. wow. Definitely wanted well. that one. Also been Johnny Timbits. Oh, I like that. I love that. Penis. I like that too. In food food base. <laughs> oh, there, there's your, yeah, the chain, there you the Canadian Tim chain Hortons. from the question earlier. Tim, uh, Tim Hortons. We we reviewed Tim Hortons once. We did not review it. Oh, we well, had we, oh Tim Hortons. God, but we did not give it a formal it. review. I, I think we were we kind were of saving it for a po- Toronto show. We yeah. were eating smokes poutineery that. Time. But yeah, that's the probably most famous Canadian yeah. chain. There you go. Can't well, believe I, I forgot it. about it. It feels very much like Dunkin' Donuts to me. Which right. I actually take that back. Yeah, like we we both. Dunkin' Donuts is my hometown. Donut no, chain. listen. Do you know how mad I was when I I saw that they Dunkin' Donuts was ripping off Timbits and calling them Munchkins? Wow. Wait, you were saying Timbits came before Munchkins? That's yes. true. A hundred percent. We need wow. Susser to investigate this. Yes, yeah, we need some some timeline of Timbit up. versus Munchkin because when I saw Munchkins, I was like, I'm sorry, what? And they were small and dry looking, and like I was like, Ugh, like no. They're fantastic. No, we were not impressed with the Dunkin' Donuts coffee either. No, it tastes like a I sugar. Lo- but I mean, that is it, have, it might have just been the That's, one. That is kind of what it is supposed to be a, sh- a bit of a sugar bomb. It is like when I was younger, I got extra cream and extra sugar, and it just. But I'll say a small, a small black Dunkin' Donuts coffee. I love, I love it. It is like maybe because like I got like like the iced coffee, and it was like. Those it's can be crazy. Too much. Yeah, it could have been, the sugar it bombs. Been the airport Dunkin'. It could have been at the airport. Yeah. Oh. So Dunkin' Donuts Munchkins came out in 1972. Timbits came out in 1976. Oh, <gasps> well, well, well. <laughs> <laughs> I'm riding high Timbits. on Dunkin'. <laughs> Munchkins on the night. But Timbits were always more over than a Munchkin. That's fair. I'm gonna ask you a question. When did The Wizard of Oz come out? Uh, 19. Before those munchkins, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I'm going to bring you... Look, you're dunk. <laughs> the next time we go to Canada, I'm going to bring you back some Timbits. Tim bits. So you can do a side-by-side. We need Timbits and we need... Uh, what are the bars again? Uh, Nanaimo, Nanaimo bars. Nanaimo, Nanaimo bars. bars. Yeah. Nanaimo bars and Timbits. Wow. Yeah. My mom, Hurricane Lorraine, will be getting a text to oh, bring yeah. those down. Love that. That's cool we call her Hurricane name. Lorraine. Yeah. She's a, a badass? Mm-hmm. She's a hurricane. She's my mom, guys. She's very good at bringing all the snacks, though. That's so. that's, that's, that's what you want in a. Uh, that's a great mom, right? There. Like, have she's you had a no Henry bar before? Advice. Yes, I have. I have had no Henry We both Henry have had bar, no for Henry sure. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Ketchup chips. We have had ketchup tri- chips. I, here's here's one thing I will say I've, about Canadian I've, snacks. The Canadian chips yes. are pretty great. I was they just are. hearing about some spicy pickle Doritos. We were talking about that on the live show, wasn't it? Yeah, I think Betsy was bringing those. Yeah, just come out here. No, they're they're Canadian. Oh, they're oh yeah yeah. We gotta say when we were when we were up there just recently. Oh wait, you weren't up there. I was no. up there recently. I was in Montreal not not mm-hmm. too long ago. I got. I've come around on ketchup chips. The first time I tried them, I was like, these are nasty. And then now I do like them. And it's almost like just like a like very close to a salt and vinegar chip or a vinegar yeah. chip. But the all dressed are love those all, all dressed. dressed. They're so good. And yeah. have you tried a Hawkins cheesy? I don't think so. Have we had a Hawkins cheesy? I'm, I wait. I gotta Bing this and see if I can recognize the package. Jesus Bing. They are perfect. Hurricane Lorraine shows up with ketchup chicks and H- Hawkins cheesies. Yes. And Hawkins oh, cheesies. oh Henry bars. Oh, Henry oh are, bars. Are Hawkins cheesies like a uh, like we have Cheetos? had the, Mitch. We have I was 100% about to say. Yeah. Had these. I now yeah, but they're like crunchier than yeah. like a, yeah. a puffy well, Cheeto puff. That's my when we had the Canadian chips. That my thought is that. Not only do I love the flavor of all dress, but the chip itself is better. They're, yes. like, they are. They're just. They're crispier. They're. They are better. Canada's. And you know what, Wags? I think it's fucked up that Canada's <laughs> got us beat on chips. We should be. We should. It really should be a thing. A, a, an American supremacy run, thing. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> I'm a sweet guy, though. I, I don't eat really chips at all. Oh no, you're a sweet guy. That's yeah. interesting. Ice cream yeah. cookies, cakes. And I'm just like, give me the hottest wing. Even the Nanaimo bars. I have to. Oh yeah. Pretty good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I, I didn't, I didn't take you. So, 
we we were out we, when we were eating. You talked you talked about macros, which I think was the first time Wags and I had ever heard that term before. Yeah. Oh yeah, uh, I also being that. Yeah, yeah, you gotta yeah. make sure your macros at it. Yeah, but but is that being a, a sweet nut? Is that tough with all of with right? Uh, you just gotta make sure, like, say if you have a acai bowl, yeah. you have to have a certain amount of protein in the acai bowl. Sure. Make sure the macros balance out. I call bullshit. Yeah. What are you talking about? On sugar just, man over there. Sometimes they go a little heavier <laughs> than sugar, but I also am OCD about like doing flips and working out. Yeah, I mean right. he does work yes. out like seventy five hours a day. So. Yeah, wow. To the, to the point where it's almost dead. You're 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 a night <laughs> workouter, right? You're, you you work out at night a lot. Yeah. Wait, you, really? Yeah. Like what time? Um, like any time, like like seven to two, three a.m. Okay, so. So like the evening, <laughs> a huge, sw- a huge span of okay, time. Okay, but we do have a gym at our house. Got it, got it. So like swing. I'm drinking yeah. wine and you know, or champagne with my girlfriend's watching The Bachelor, and he's behind us like doing arm curls, going, "So what's happening?" Like, <laughs> yeah. And my girlfriend's all like, all my friends are like, "Oh, John's Johnning." Right? <laughs> <laughs> he's doing John boy. We have like we have like swords and stuff too that I practice with. Sure. So it's not just like weights. <laughs> <laughs> Sad but true. Yeah. We have swords as well. Yeah, <laughs> big one. Not as cool. I'm, I'm not a fan of real weapons. Actually, I like I like the. Oh, are they, are they? Are they? Uh, yeah, Vulcans, like, like the wooden stunt. swords. Oh, oh nice. that's cool as hell. Yeah, and yeah. stunt swords. Yeah. Wait, Ty, Ty, you just mentioned you like a spicy wing. You're like me. You're you're a bit of a heat seeker. How, how spicy are we talking? Okay, so my favorite wings in LA are from Rocco's. Okay, wow. There was one in um, West Hollywood and one in the Valley, and I love the nine one one, the hottest one. Wow, wow. you go all the way. Oh shit! So with you... a big thing of ranch. Yeah, that's, that's intense. See, I like hot wings, but I will never. I'll never go. I'll never go full hot. We did. We just did the hot ones. We did for a double. It hasn't come out yet, has it? Yeah, an upcoming Patreon episode, we t- we did the Hot Ones Challenge. We yes. went through and did all of the Hot Ones sauces. And yeah, by the time I get to seven or eight, I'm just not having fun anymore. Is the yeah. thing. Even though I like spicy foods, like I and I can I can tolerate it. I just like I feel like at a certain point I I, I start losing the flavor. But you like to go all the way. Oh, I I like to suffer a little bit, you know. Wow. So wow, I you, love it. Have you messed with Helen Ray's? Don't even know what that is. Helen Ray's is in. Uh, I yeah, I think you'd really because they yeah, have the really like it. they have the their spiciest sauce is their Helen sauce and it's really really. It's a potent. fried chicken sandwich. Yeah. And okay. It, and it's and it's Nashville style. And I think they make you sign a waiver. It's, Can't wait. <laughs> would you you really? I I did the I I did like the hottest version they had. And yeah, we, we I, did. I truly we, believe it's the closest I almost came to dying. We did a Helen Ray's episode with Kumail last year, yeah. and we had a we all had like a pretty miserable experience dealing with the hottest. That was density. bad. But the time I I like ate a. But big, you do like with the ranch or the blue cheese or some other sauce. Yeah, there's 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 sauce you sure. can dip it in for sure. But okay. But the the hottest one just the next two to two and a half days. I was so fucked up and on the <laughs> toilet. It was it was it was horrible. That's the main issue. The yeah. and for me these days, it's the intestinal distress and the aftermath. Mm-hmm. Like I can handle my tongue and throat burning and my and my lips, but like, you know, your butt, your butthole, yeah, like, yeah, my my butt. Thank you. I didn't want to say your it. But yes, my butt, my butt or butthole. You do a milk a, a, a butt milk chug or something. <laughs> I mean, that's how it feels. That is really what it feels like. It feels right. like you want to pour okay, milk so, on your butt. But next time yeah. you go to Rocco's, you got at least. Try it. All right, try, try the, the hottest one. The nine one one there is like not as hot as like it sounds like it is. Yeah, and like the regular hottest is is good too. But they have the best boneless wings. They're like go, chunks of chicken breast. Like they're really. I'm really, I'm I'm, I'm I go appreciator completely of mild. Wings, so yeah, I, 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 yeah. I'm love the it. opposite. I I I all the that's, way hot. That's so what I do now. Wow. I do my. I just go all mild. That's that's all I that. With my stomach, I like the. I like a hotter temperature, but I can't. And if you went to Howlin' Ray's, I would say even go like hot howlin is insane yeah i went the i think the first time i went there i did the step above hot what, what, what there's there's hot i think there's hot plus and then howlin or yeah. whatever or, or it's or it's burning it's something it's some other like a uh, you know Fun. synonym for singeing or something like, like that you know or... exactly it's some shit like that <laughs> ring of fire right yeah yeah <laughs> um and even that like again i can handle a, a, a lot of heat that one like really like took me back like it was it was pretty it was pretty brutal yeah, yeah. So i've been to like some specific wing places and i'm like hey what's the hottest one and they give it to me and i'm just like this is it's bullshit. wow wow i love it yeah I love Does, it. have bullshit. you taken any of those wing challenges no but like, i should go i should go on hot ones and see what happens that would rule we won't we try we, me 
We we're we're, we're we're banned from the show, I believe. I people are always tweeting at hot ones. They're like, get the doughboys on. They're like, they don't like, know. They had like, Emma Stone on Emma last Stone week. Last like, week. <laughs> be Emma Stone, Cardi B, me. <laughs> you should do it. It would yeah. be great. Yeah. Have you had a? Uh, have you had you rustic? That's the that's the local hot wings place. It's very good. No. You would like it. And they wings. Uh, very good. Very good wings. Yeah. Mitch, my man, tell me about your hydration style on a scale from pour and chug to sipping from your favorite glass. Why do you prefer to quench your thirst? Great question. For me, water is the source of life, mm. but I just like to chug it down. You know, I yeah. don't love, I'm not, I'm not, you know, I'm not craving water. But I know I have to drink it. What's maybe you're trying to get it over with because mm-hmm. you don't respond to the flavor. Well, whether mm-hmm. you hydrate to live or live to hydrate, liquid IV quenches your thirst faster than water alone. Wow. With three times the electrolytes of the leading sports drink plus eight vitamins and nutrients for everyday wellness, all in a single sugar-free stick. Wags, you know, I like to have my liquid IV at the end of the day Yeah. when I feel a little dehydrated, you know, maybe I've been running around, taking out the trash. I'm, I'm there, you know, I've sweated a bunch. You know, I need to get that. I need to get hydrated. I'm, I'm, I'm low on my hydration. And I'm an early to bed, early to rise guy. Mm-hmm. But sometimes work makes it so you have to have a long night, you know. Mm-hmm. So or you have a long night out with some some buds, and and, and or on a long flight or before my daily workout. Wise, well, yeah, you're a workout guy. One stick plus sixteen ounces of water hydrates better than water alone. Three times the electrolytes of the leading sports drink, no artificial sweeteners and zero sugar, eight vitamins and nutrients for everyday wellness, non-GMO and free from gluten, dairy, and soy. However you hydrate, grab your liquid IV hydration multiplier sugar-free in bulk nationwide at Costco. We love Costco. Or get 20% off your first order when you go to liquidiv.com and use code DOUGHBOYS at checkout. That's 20% off your first order when you shop Better Hydration today using promo code DOUGHBOYS at liquidiv.com. Wags, you know, I'm usually a strawberry liquid IV guy. Mm-hmm. I love the strawberry. But the sugar-free uh, raspberry melon, pretty, pretty good. It's new. You should try it out. Promo code DOUGHBOYS, liquidiv.com. Uh, let's let's pivot from wings back to uh, to sweet territory. Uh, where do where do y'all stand on acai and bowls slash smoothies generally? Bullshit. So I'm okay. <laughs> th- th- go ahead. <laughs> Why bullshit? I, I <laughs> okay, so you you hit your workout right. You uh, got like what 30, 45 minutes before your post workout window closes. Then you drink a protein shake. You put protein you in the acai chicken bowl. Breast. You need. Carbs and protein for the no. protein to be vi- bioavailable. Uh, we should be writing down notes. You haven't, <laughs> you haven't been doing your reading on this. An acai or or an acai or however you say it. I mean, people can't even can't, people can't even pronounce it. That's true. Um, I'm not gonna argue that. I don't know. It's literally just ground up frozen fruit and bullshit it's in a the in a fake ass. And you put sugar in it, and it it if tastes I want, good. I'd like no, it's not good. We had one. Uh, I thought we, mine was. You didn't have one with peanut butter. I don't care. I think they're stupid. <laughs> we, we were we were t- we because now we've had quite a few on. We've the had show. so many of these these bowl places. A lot of them do acai, and that that's the, cl- the the when I was look at, was looking at phonetic pronunciation, I saw a few different sources. I think acai is pretty close to what it is in Portuguese, um, but mm-hmm. it's uh. It's, I'm going to start using that. If it, it's in Portuguese, if that's what it's called. I think so, yeah. That, that's <laughs> its origin. Acai. I have an acai bowl. <laughs> <laughs> but it's... Um, so they know. It It's like... I, I think an issue with a lot of these, these juiceries and these bowl places is they're uh, purportedly offering some sort of health food, but really what they're offering is a sugar delivery system. And so, like, a lot of their, their stuff they have, it's like, I basically could go to yogurt land uh, and have the same amount of sugar and calories and have maybe a better time. Uh, but this kind of lets me have, like, you know. Baking it. Exactly. Like, I feel like I'm eating something healthy when maybe I'm like not. It's like that episode of Seinfeld, right? Right. Where, like, they got the, the, the sugar-free, whatever, frozen yogurt, then it turns out it's full of sugar. Yeah. As long as you know that and you have the protein added in, yeah. then it balances the macros and it's okay. Right. I mean, and these were supposed to be acai bowls and they came in a cup. This is a huge problem with oakberry. Agreed. Yes, this is this is this is this is this is an oakberry problem. But by the way, I just yeah. want to say, <laughs> any listeners out there, you go in, you order an acai bowl, and you nail the pronunciation, and the the guy behind the counter nods. 
Tell them the Doughboys taught you. Tell them the Doughboys taught you. Just let them know that the Doughboys taught you. Let them know the Doughboys taught you. Give us a little bit of credit somewhere. (laughs) And if you look up macros and you understand what that meant, tell them John told you. Tell them John told you. (laughs) Tom John heard Our listeners are not going to be. Gym, <laughs> and he just passed it along. Our listeners are not going to be running to look up macros. <laughs> like, like macros and cheese. I'm going to find out how many calories, carbs, and grams of sugar are in these acai bowls just to make it. Probably not g- good. Well, we- think about this. If you, if you have a long workout, you oh, can stand to have like 600 calories and. You're not going to be able to absorb more than 30 or 40 grams of protein, depending on your body weight. Right. And and let's just say instead of a long workout, you had a long session playing Baldur's Gate 3. <laughs> Same principle applies. By the way, you're talking to people who we did a Taco Bell tournament and at the, the live finale yeah. on Tuesday after I followed my Taco Bell with Taco Bell. You I did have, want you to get Taco I Bell. Ta- I had Taco Bell after my Taco <laughs> yeah. Bell. One of my best friends loves Taco Bell so much that we gave him like a custom Taco Bell themed birthday cake this year. Wow. That's fucking rules. What was it shaped like? It was like a normal cake, but then they had made like a sugar, you know, statue of him. And then they had like the taco and the gordita crunch. And then like all this kind of like Taco Belly hot sauce, fake hot sauces and things like that. That rules. Wow. You voted against the cheese gordita crunch. Piece of shit. Stand by it. <laughs> uh, Oakberry was founded in 2016 in Sao Paulo by Brazilian entrepreneur Giorgio's Frangulis, or Frangulis, I don't know how to pronounce that. Uh, has anyone ever been to Brazil? I never have. No. no. Yeah. I, I went to Costa Rica. Either. Yeah. Not Costa Brazil. Rica's nice. <laughs> uh, Costa Rica was really nice. Was, yeah, a lot of mosquitoes, but the ocean's nice. Yeah, it was really, it was it was beautiful. There were, there were you know, howler monkey. Well, because I saw everything down there. It was great. The acai uh-huh. berry is native to Brazil, uh, and it, it offers, uh, the, this chain offers acai bowls and smoothies. The acai mixture, as Ty alluded to, is from a frozen drink machine because the berries are so it's a smoothie. fragile that like they, a they're usually pureed and frozen for export. Let's call um, it a Slurpee. It's it basically a, it's, is a Slurpee. It's a Slurpee. It's a Slurpee with a f- protein. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> what? There are over 600 <laughs> franchises of this chain with plans for over 1,000 by year's end, which sounds unsustainable. Um, and there's a location on the same block as Headgum Studios. Like how many people are actually eating these things? That's the thing. Of specific just Oakberry? Of just Oakberry, yeah. How that, is it blowing up like that? That's insane. I, me. I mean, I think they just have a bunch of like private equity and venture capital. It's the same story as all these things. But like, it, it's some of these chains just go from. Again, didn't exist in 2015. 2016, first location in Brazil. Now, and now has plans for a thousand by the end of 2024 worldwide. That's unsustainable. They can't keep That's growing. That's massive. Like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wait, wait, we're talking about like a hundred years. This no, this is within this is within an eight year span. I was gonna say okay. ma- the yeah. math ain't math in there, John. Oh yeah, <laughs> John's not math. Girl math, boy math. Okay. John math. <laughs> I was thinking about macros. Um, <laughs> Okay, I'm with you. Unsustainable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Definitely. I mean, it's funny to me. Well, whatever. If I, should, should we get into the this? Should we get into this? Yeah, place? I mean, we get into it. There's more, and there's aside from just Oakberry, they're everywhere. That's. I mean, that's that are, was that yes, was my sure. thought. That it's funny that this place is gonna take off because we were saying in there we've had press juicery. I really liked their uh, acai bowl. Yeah, and there's other, but I just. It's weird. I mean, it feels just like it's a a hip spot or something. It's very L.A., this. Yes. It it does feel that way. And I assumed it was just a standalone L.A. location because this was the only one I knew. And then I saw that there were more of them. And I looked it up and was like, yeah, there's 600 of them right now. That blew me away. Wild. Um, I, I, my whole thing is I feel like acai had its moment like five to 10 years ago. Doesn't it feel like this trend is kind of on the, 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 the downward side of its trajectory? I think it's always been down. You think so? Yeah. Because I think they're stupid. (laughs) <laughs> I, she hates acai bowls, I, I, and I, I get, get them it all in the a time. way. I do get it in a. I get it in a way. I, 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 I like. I don't know. It's tricking me to think that it's healthy. I, I'm so, you know what they you, saw? You got to put the. You got to put the protein in there. You can get boosts. You can get a turmeric shot or a, or a wheat Those are on the shot. side, though. You're not putting that in your acai bowl. Well, if you're going to Oakberry, you might as well get the turmeric shot. In the inside. Not in the. Thing. That's what I mean, though. You get it on the side. That's different. It's like it's like, a totally separate thing. Yeah. Yeah. Like you don't want coffee. This and is water very funny because I thought cup. you guys would be on the same page about it. Because I, I have to guess you guys. Well, for someone who had post Taco Bell, Taco Bell, I thought <laughs> you guys, you guys eat healthier than us for yes. for sure. One would assume. Uh, but 
for you to be split on for, this is very funny. But we think. always have been. For sure, the healthiest eater between the two of us is Taya. Okay. We have a thing that she She's the one calling them bullshit. Called, uh, bullshit. Drumstick night. Yeah, so I, I said, I'm like, I'm going to make, uh, you know, drumsticks. We'll call it drumstick night. And he thought, because of his, you know, sugar brain, that this meant that we were just having drumsticks as in Ice cream. Yeah. Oh, sure. I, was, I came home like a And he's like, he's like, yeah, drumstick really night. Excited. And I, in the meantime, like, taking all the skin off these chicken drumsticks, right. seasoned them olive oil, healthy, healthy air fryer. And I'm like, here is all this, like, healthy chicken that I made and some veggies. And he's like, but I thought we were having drumsticks. I go, these are drumsticks. That's, but it that's the difference. Like, I it's, it's, yeah. it's like a... Like a like an elementary school kid. <laughs> like, here's that. And it's like, drumstick night. Like, drumstick night. So then, yeah. he, and then we like did it. Now it became a thing, like drumstick night. And so it's oh. like, I make the dr- chicken drumsticks. And then he's like, goes and buys the box of that ice cream drumstick. Yeah. Wow. So, it's like the best. So that you tells know. you our different versions, you know, how our brains work. I will say yeah. that if you told Wags and I drumstick night, we would also think the 100% ice cream. be thinking the, the ice cream. <laughs> do, you, do you have, do you have a, a favorite uh, drumstick varietal? Like which kind of ice cream? Ooh, it varies. Right now, probably like the cookie crust dipped wow. with fudge. You like that core? I like, I like, the, I like the core. The I, like the, yeah. I like the fudge Like core. the fudge core? Yeah. yeah, I like the caramel. Oh, the caramel. Oh, all right. The caramel core person. Yeah. Favorite is always a hard one. I like, I like. I like to do the Howard Finkel, like, among my favorites, or one of my favorites, or, you know, instead yeah. of having to say, this one. Right. Is that is that one of your, so your, your what's your what's your go-to sweet treat, frozen sweet treat? Would it be drumsticks? Oof, that, that's, that's tough. Yeah. I'd you probably can't make say, a sorry, sorry. <laughs> Briar's natural vanilla ice cream with Hershey's chocolate syrup and cut up bananas. Wow. I love no that. No whipped cream. I love that. I'm a I'm a big time vanilla advocate. Vanilla is a flavor. People use vanilla yeah. as plain, but it's an exotic mm-hmm. bean. Mm-hmm. It's got its own distinct flavor, um, yep. and it's uh, an should be treated as delicacy. Bean. Boom. <laughs> it is. <laughs> it sounded very yeah, high fucking end. Fucking Indiana there. Jones over there. <laughs> <laughs> We're looking for the vanilla bean. I see. I am a big advocate for the traditional ice cream sandwich. Okay, like, I love it. Yeah, the, the normal cheapy one. Are we talking Neapolitan or just vanilla? Vanilla. I love that. With the special vanilla bean flavored ice cream yeah. in it. That's a hoot. When we first <laughs> met, I took her to Jelson's because I heard about the ice cream sandwich thing. To impress her. I was mortified. Six dollar ice cream sandwiches. Yeah. <laughs> Those cool house. He's trying to show off, and I was like, "You're an idiot." Those are an like indulgence. six dollars. Yeah. yeah. Are you saying was it Gelson? Are you talking Gelson's or? Oh, I say I say Gelson's. I guess it's Gelson's. Oh, all right, all right. Akai, I, we're talking Asai. about the same time. <laughs> <laughs> same, same. When, when Mitch is giving pronunciation notes, I mean, <laughs> it's usually the other way around. Is it Gelson's or Gelson's? <laughs> it's Gelson's. It's Gelson's. Right? It's Gelson's. I'm right. sure. Yeah. I don't know if it was a different place. I didn't no, know. No, no, no. no, no. You're, you're right. It's I think, a special I think one in Sherman Oaks. Pretty much the whole <laughs> like world. The Valley, and we pronounce it like this. <laughs> I don't know why I call it Gelson's. We we we've, we've we've said this before when we we went to uh some PWG shows. It's true. And it it was fun for us to see all the wrestlers there who were they were like they were like they were as funny as the comedy people we saw at like in our in comedy clubs, yeah, for sure. But also, they were X Men, basically. Like they they were also so athletically right. gifted. By the way, X Men ninety seven, pretty good. Have you watched it yet, Wags? I have not watched it yet. But shout out Ray Chase who plays Cyclops. Oh right, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, the the um yes, that that's always the thing of just like, and that's what dazzles me about about pro wrestling and why do I watch it with such like adulation? Is just like I'm like. It, it like you you need to have so much charisma and so much like presence as a performer, but also to be so physically you know gifted and adept. And like that's the thing. Like I have first off, I don't have any of that, but I certainly don't have the physical side. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, yeah you don't got any of it. Yeah, um, <laughs> is, like, is there plenty of like the, the wit and the entertainment value and the charisma. Plenty of it. Come on. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right. <laughs> Thank you. Though. You don't have to accept the compliment. That's kind of what you say, but I'm, but I'm guessing just from from what you guys go through on a weekly basis, do you not have to think about what you eat as much, or it is a thing that you do you think about it even more? Or, I mean, um, it seems like you do so, think about so it all the time. Basically, put it this way: What if one day a week you knew that you were going to stand in front of ten thousand people in your underwear and then be on live TV? 
I was, you know, everything coming like, to my head right away. I'm going to get a ton of laughs. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, but for me, it's like a motivator. Yeah, sure. Yeah. I'm like on like a weekly, like, do the TV, eat the cookies. Then a day or two goes by and I'm like, uh-oh, TV's coming up. Yes. Yeah, so and then an I endless switch cycle. to intermittent fasting right. to cut and then repeat. Damn. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And, and but, but just going back to what we're talking about this week's chain, neither of you would be like, Oh, if I'm going to eat healthy, I'm going to be hitting up Oakberry, right? Like this, Absolutely this is a dessert Absolutely not. <laughs> yeah. No, no. Oakberry, to me, could be a post-workout thing, too. Right, sure. Okay. No. <laughs> I, I, I think what- I think We're going to have to agree to disagree on, on this. <laughs> what would- what would what, you, were, you were saying grilled chicken breast, basically, would be like the thing, your go-to after- Yeah, but like we have like- Because we- Order or like Robux all the time. Do you know what? Oh, yeah. 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 Pretty good time at Robux. Robux. Uh, And like we know that I get the avocado toast with the one egg on it and he will get his acai bowl. And like we are, we are, we know our lanes. Yeah. But we are, we are able to find places that you can, you know. So is, does does that does if, your love of the acai bowl come from the sweet tooth? Is that basically what it it's is? Partly that, but also like post workout, you can pound it faster. Mm. It's digestible faster than food. Right, yeah. sure. So within like 30, 40 minutes of your workout, you should have a smoothie, in my opinion, and then in an hour or two, food. Got it. Okay. Whereas I would always pick having like real food over mushed up, sugar, watery, gross stuff. It does look wasting like, your gains. It looks like it looks like sludge in in many ways. Like Shrek made it. Yes, I, which I, would be more fun. I would love to see Shrek. <laughs> make delicious. It. I did get Oakberry for the first time yesterday, and I went back today for the record. I'm holding this uh, this smoothie right here. The the acai. Okay, so that's the one I got yesterday, right? Is that the tropical? Yes, tropical beet. The tropical beet. Yeah, that's weird. That one yeah. to me looks. <laughs> it, that's, that's a juice. The tropical beet. This is tropical beet, yeah. But that's a smoothie, right? It's a smoothie. Yeah. Well, so so two things. First off, you might think it's a juice because these are these have a very watery consistency, and obviously mm. this one has melted a little bit. But even when you get like fresh out of the machine, it is it is pretty icy, pretty watery. Yeah. The second thing, I think that that cup that you have there, Mitch, which I had yesterday, just straight up looks like a cup of marinara. Like that does not <laughs> look like something that you'd want to suck down with a straw, right? Yeah. Can I be honest with you? Yeah. I swapped it in with some marinara. Yeah. <laughs> it would probably taste better. <laughs> <laughs> or a michelada. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, there you go. Uh, I, you know, Beans honestly. should be a juice, not a smoothie. Yeah. The tastes, it, this is not great. This, this, the it, smoothie it, was not great. I'll get to my thoughts on the acai bowl, but I was not impressed with the smoothie, Wags. How did you feel? Uh, so I, I didn't love the smoothie I had yesterday. I mean, I it it was it was fine, but, but it, like it, it it was not the sort of thing like I would go back there and again the other element of this place is price. I'll pay fourteen dollars for one of these. Um, this one that I'm having today, which is uh one of the this is their hydration smoothie, and this is more coconut based, although it has a similar sort of hue to it. I think is a little bit more drinkable. Um, but again, just not not a, not a thing that I would I feel like is worth the price point. I feel like in all the smoothies, smoothies mm. we drank on the show, this is in the bottom tier. It's it's yeah, which it shouldn't be no. for a newer concept. For a price, yeah, it's expensive. Yeah, like I'd rather get Robex. Oh, for sure. Yeah. yeah, Robex, Robex is, great. Robex is yeah. good. Yeah. The acai bowl, I liked. Um, so your acai bowl today? The acai bowl I had from Oakberry was good, yeah. but I can't say it was like you have to go to Oakberry. For that acai bowl. Sure, yeah. And so what 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 acai bowl did you get? Was it the original that you got? Uh, I just ate two real fast. <laughs> because he ate original. mine because I, had, I didn't like... want to finish it. <laughs> <laughs> one original and one crunchy. It was I had a crunchy had. and an original. Yeah. I went with the, we, we got the original, right, Emma? Yes. I had the original I had and I added strawberry to it. Yep. Here's, here's my thought right off the bat. Yeah. There is maybe one piece of strawberry diced up on it. And yeah, it was like one whole strawberry cut up, and that was it. And <laughs> and, and that and it, it when you go, when we got pressed juicery, like say what you want about that place, but there was a ton of fruit in yes, that in that sure. acai bowl. Right here, I like pressed juicery. I, I, like, pressed I, I, I like pressed a lot. And this and I was compa- this is that's where I was comparing it to. And this one had one chopped up uh, strawberry, a chopped up maybe like five pieces of banana, and that was it. And for what it costs. Fifteen dollars, sixteen dollars. Our whole order today was two hundred dollars. Oh my oh. god! I saw the receipt and I was like, "What? 
Two hundred dollars. Eight. It was you guys, Casey, me, Amelia, and Anya. But it was two hundred dollars. Yeah. See, well, that's oh that's my insane. god. Insane. I can't believe we can't pay you know Amelia this they- month. <laughs> 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 they say sometimes about McDonald's is they might sell the most cheeseburgers, but they might not make the best cheeseburgers. But you know what? But they're that also like a dollar. I know. That <laughs> might apply to Oakberry, except it's overpriced. Yeah. I feel like McDonald's may comparatively, I think McDonald's is knocking it out of the park. Compar- <laughs> like, well, McDonald's like I would is take a way chicken cheaper. over yeah, that sure. oh, like, yeah. any day. Any 100%. Day yeah. Yes. If you spend $14 at McDonald's, you're feeding a family of, but like, yeah. Seven? <laughs> oh, the, it is crazy that the prices have gone up even at McDonald's. Because yeah. we live in Los Angeles where everything is so expensive. Yes, it's, right. yes that's, I think that's a big part of it. Yeah. yeah. Sucks. Uh, but that but that $200 for what we got is That's ridiculous. Absurd. Uh, that's robbery. Probably the it's only crazy. place more expensive would be Air One. I was just going to say Air One. Like, don't they have like $30 smoothies or something there? They do. They do. Yeah. And like the, ha- the Haley, Haley Bieber. Bieber. Yeah, the exactly. Haley Bieber. Mm-hmm. But if I was they going to- like clouds, though. They look so- <laughs> 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 They do. They really look It's cool. really pretty. <laughs> <laughs> I, wait, have you had Air One? Oh yeah. What do you What do you get there? Um, I got specifically the one that looks like a cloud. Okay. And then I was disappointed because it didn't taste good. Yeah. <laughs> he was so, trying to have an influencer moment. You know, a little went, equinox. Then I went back to my, my usual peanut butter protein situation. Right. Right. I, I I get really like skittish about, and I just don't I don't know the health benefits of it. But when something has added collagen, and that's an option, you can add collagen like to your okay. Does that help? Is that good? Oh, big I like time. it. Yeah. Okay. What is what it? Is what is collagen? Yeah, what does it do? Isn't collagen a... Well, How do you not know? Sorry. <laughs> We're idiots. I know what it is, but I don't know what, I don't know what it does nutritionally if you're going to like eat, ingest it, you know? So it's really good for your hair and your skin. Okay. Oh, right. And your hair. joints. Yeah. And your nails. Right. Yeah. The type of protein. Yeah. You should, you should be having like collagen every day pretty much. Wow. And you can buy collagen powder that's absolutely like flavorless that you can I'm like... I'm not going to... I can't tell you what I thought collagen was. I want to know what you think collagen was. But you can put it in your coffee. You can put it in anything. No, what did you think collagen was? Immediately, I thought it was the stuff that's in uh, boob implants. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was silicone. Oh well, there are Someone collagen. get me out of here. <laughs> <laughs> collagen, yeah, there are collagen. Oh, you can eject it. Okay, all right. All right, there is. Yeah. All right. I feel like I, your lips and stuff, I don't think your tits. Oh, but. Okay. So they can... <laughs> It's okay. Uh, sorry. <laughs> um, they can do different like treatments that stimulate the collagen growth in your skin and your face, mm. or put like, you know, things like that to help with re- like as got you it, get got older, got let your body creates less collagen, so yeah, yeah. you want to keep the collagen up. All right. Yeah. No. That sounds. I, I get. Science I, lesson of the day. Thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> the boobs, I didn't realize it the was boobs a aren't collagen. Yeah. Wait. What's that? They're not. They're not. They're not made of collagen. Bo- boobs are not. They made used of to be saline. They are definitely not made of collagen. Um, <laughs> and now are silicone. <laughs> it used to be the case when they were saline <laughs> that if you were like like stranded in the desert, you could probably like poke one and like, like <laughs> survive for a couple of extra days. <laughs> Um, but not the case That's anymore. That's John's plan for the end well, of the world, everyone. They switched it to silicone, so it's... Right. Yeah. You, it's dead. Damn, it's useless now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Well, I fucked that one up a little bit, but look. But so collagen is good great. for you. It's not silicone. Yeah. Wow, okay. Yeah. Which I would... Look, you. I'm sure you don't know too much about collagen either. No, I mean, like, as far as it being a a, su- a nutritional supplement, like, that's... It's not a thing I've ever, like, dallied with. I've seen it about... But it was, like, I don't... I just don't know its properties. Yeah, um, and they have so many different, like, really good products now. Like, fl- right. like I said, like, flavorless. You can put it in your coffee. You can put it in your soup. You can put it in your smoothie. You, you can, like, do whatever. It's not, like, a huge scoop either. Yeah, it's they're just, smaller. like, a little bit. A little bit. Okay. Got it. So that is one thing you can't do. I was can, just hearing you today you shouldn't shampoo your hair too often. I'm getting hair. I'm getting hair treatment. Are you there, should there, be there, taking there. collagen every day. Yes. Yeah. 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 Oh, shit. They, I, they, they, they take out my blood and then they're stabbing my scalp where I need my hair like, to grow. Uh, PRP. Yeah. 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 But I. But I. I like a I, vampire I, facial for your scalp. That's kind of <laughs> what. That is what. Yeah. It, it is crazy. They, no, I've had that before they, too. Like uh, the I went to Columbia and got like stem cells and then they spit it with the PRP and stick your head. Wow. Yeah, yeah. That's I, 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 I'm going a little bit bald on top, but I, I, but I, I shampoo wanted to like see if I can twice grow a day. My hair down yep. to... Yeah, right, right, right. <laughs> like you, you think about your like your twenty yeah, twenty year old hairline, yeah. yeah. like how low it must have been. It was probably like here for me. <laughs> you think it was right above your eyebrows? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> well, I was gonna say like it an inch here. above. I don't know. I just for some reason thought it would be like a cool goal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I love that. <laughs> I, I different at least. 
I gotta stop shampoo. Johnny Airline. You you yeah. have, you wear dry you, shampoo, folks. Dry shampoo. Dry shampoo. shampoo. Okay. So that when you don't want to wash your hair, and if you feel like you were sweating or whatever, you can put some dry shampoo and brush it through. This guy's wearing a shower Freshen cap. He told me. I'm teaching you about collagen. And right here, just that just, that just, the rest of plants are not collagen. About this. Uh, <laughs> and dry shampoo today. <laughs> when I asked Josh to give me yellow hair, both you guys read me the riot act about how I don't take care of my hair. Oh my correctly. god, it's horrible. Yeah. Uh, yes, your you, hair looks great. Was, your, your hair does look great. I, I, because, but yes, I, I recently, because I used to be a, a shampoo every shower, and then I was reading, like, like in the recent past, like in the past couple of years, that you're not supposed to sh- you're to do to wash your hair that frequently. So yeah, I have a, I have a shower cap now. It was better when I had longer hair. Mm. Now it's less, uh, it has less purpose, but it's very useful in terms of not getting my hair wet. Yeah, I was recently like that too, as huh. in like yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> the natural oil from your head hair gets stripped when you shampoo. But when you too put often. your head in your pillow, never mind. It's, it's just a <laughs> pillowcase. Yeah, but there you go. The other thing, we Josh, have those is too. silk pillowcase. We have those. Yep. Wait, silk pillowcase? You it doesn't absorb pillowcase. oil, so your oil stays like on your scalp. And where it you doesn't want pull it, your though. hair yeah. like a cotton pillowcase. Really? I think we should there's, just have like a beauty day. There, there's a know? lot of stuff. <laughs> and I'll I would love it. I didn't you know. it all. Yeah, everything. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll go get we'll go get a spa day. You know, this guy's a lot better at it. Well, you don't have him out, but he's he gets pedicures. I do get pedicures. He, yeah, he really I get, takes I care of himself. I would. I need something like that. Yeah. So yeah. you're looking great. Thank you, Wax. Yeah. Uh, let's uh, uh, let's let's get into our bowls a little bit more. So yesterday I got the crunchy acai bowl, mm-hmm. and as we talked about, Ty, as you mentioned earlier, doesn't come in a bowl. It comes in a cup, yes. a plastic single use cup, don't which like is that. maddening. It's a huge strike against this place. You I don't want have as much mo- you can't like really moving come back around. From that all. Exactly, I'm yeah. with you on that. It's a lie. Yeah, yeah. It's the bowl bummer. is full of lies. Also, in, <laughs> in general, for acai bowls, mm-hmm. I usually like to order them without granola. Yeah, yes. this one this comes, with, comes with granola, with the, chia pudding, yeah. granola, strawberries, blueberries, and cocoa nibs. Um, and the chia pudding was like, was a totally frozen like lump. That's you, the thing. That's, yeah, when I, I, like, when I solidified, this? This I, I poured yours into the drain, and it, a, a, chunk. a huge chunk came. Yeah, what is that? Out. It was. It was. I noticed that also. Yeah, it was gnarly. Yeah, yeah. They're, it's not yeah. Didn't look it's appetizing. Not whatever it was. No, yeah. they're not storing it properly. Yeah, and Gross. even the bowl, you know, and and the, more of an issue with the smoothie. Which I still can't tr- stop drinking, even though I don't like it that much. Uh, <laughs> the the it, the bowl is still watery. It's watery as hell. Yeah. yeah. Did you? I mean, did you feel that, Mitch? Uh, yeah, a hundred percent. I mean, I I liked my bowl way more than I liked the smoothie. Yeah. But a big part of it is I like peanut butter, so it's like sure. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. And they also have a window. Like if you get in a kai bowl, <clears throat> a say bowl, <laughs> you you have a uh, <laughs> fifteen minutes maybe. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah, they, they, mine, mine, but they are still, they're still pretty watery. I, I think sometimes, though, you get an acai bowl that's, I, I also was struggling that's there, tough. an acai bowl that is too, fr- like, it's, I, I like to press, but you get it and you get, get like an ice cream headache. It's so yeah, yeah, cold. Yeah. Mm. It like freezes things up. A brain and, freeze. Yeah. So right. it's a t- I feel like it's a tough thing, but it is, it's a little watery. I agree with you, Alex. I think it's stupid. They might be stupid in general. I think that they maybe They're are not stupid. stupid in general. Like dumb. Oak berries <laughs> overrated, I guess. I don't know. I can't believe there's 600 franchises already. That's, yes. That blows my mind. Yeah, that's insane. Um, it feels very of the moment. But it's crazy to me because there's already spots like this, so I don't really get it. And also, there's merch hanging in that store. That's the thing I noticed the most. Who's buying an oak berry like, hat? Oh, yes. like, I might. I might. Okay. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm, you say, you say I'm that a in, fan of really stupid merch. By the way, <laughs> you say that in front of the guy with a Kirkland signature sweatshirt. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Like, but I mean, look at John's beautiful t-shirt that he's wearing. Johnny Loves Tire. Wow. Wow. T-shirt. ShopAEW.com. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in that. I'm also in a, you can spot That's me right. a couple episodes. Yeah. Spoon Man. Mm-hmm. You're a recurring star. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. <laughs> A series then, regular. Your body had yeah. a hard time even saying recurring star for me. <laughs> <laughs> recurring star. <Ugh. laughs> Nothing to do with you. <laughs> well, I got a question for you. Yes. Wear that shower cap. You get the pubes wet every shower? <laughs> yeah, I mean, you don't need to gar- specifically guard your, your mind pubes. went there. I was wondering. I've been thinking about it. You absolutely should wash those regularly. Yeah. Oh. yeah. yeah. <laughs> that hair should get washed. This is where I get it mixed up. Don't use up. the dry shampoo there. No. 
Although that I, kind of goes without saying, right? Yeah, that that <laughs> that to me goes without saying. Yeah. But I did read a I did read like a health thing that some guy was saying like you actually should not wash your genitals or ass, and I was like, what Who the fuck is this Doctor Stank ass <laughs> telling me I shouldn't <laughs> I shouldn't wash myself? Like, what the hell are you talking like, about? Diaper butt. Yeah. That's that's exactly. that's that's fucking like, nasty. Did he mean like you would write as a joke? Soap? <laughs> like, they, they were saying no. They were saying like only use water. Like don't use soap anywhere in that area. And I'm just like, I, no. I don't know. I feel like you have a, like, a, I, look, I have a eczema, so I have, like, a sense, I have, like, I use a Cetaphil bar soap. Uh, it's, like, a sensitive skin thing. I don't feel like I'm irritating anything down there. Sure. When I'm, when I'm so, when I'm sudsing up. Yeah. I mean, you know. Yeah. I would <laughs> know. You wear a shower cap down there, and then you want to jack off? It sucks. <laughs> And then you Sorry definitely you. wash. <laughs> if, if that's happening, you, you need to, to I was wash a every day. I was <laughs> like, like, having a lovely time, and now the visuals more than in my head are not. Day, depending, I don't know. They're not good. They're not. They're not. They're not good. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> sorry. We're sorry. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry too. Sorry for him. <laughs> You were just thinking the same thing about the. the Maybe shop. I was. <laughs> <And> I, I... <laughs> the show was very I'm bad. Now... We tried to warn you before. Listen, now all I'm thinking about is the fact that like it wouldn't be like a crotch shower cap. It basically is like a diaper. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, basically a see-through diaper. Uh, yeah, it's horrible. It's like the Sumner Redstone diaper. The rumored, <laughs> the rumored diaper with a hog hole. Oh my god. Because even though he was incontinent into his 90s, he was still demanding like sex every day. Jesus. Nasty Christ. old freak. <laughs> Nick Yikes. read a book about him. I did read a book about Sumner Redstone, a man who died in a, a gilded cage of his own making. Um, yeah, seemed to seem to be a, a, a pretty. You never, you, you never met Sumner Redstone, did you? Oh, I never met Sumner right, Redstone. Well, you, you never meet your heroes. <laughs> He's a Boston guy. Oh, well, makes sense. <laughs> That's like when I probably I... wouldn't want to go anywhere near him. He stinks that bad. That guy. <laughs> sure <he> does, yeah. <laughs> He's wearing, He's wearing diapers. diapers. <laughs> Fucking horny all the time. Uh, <laughs> that's when I was at. I was at. I was at. I was at Moza yeah. and uh, Rupert Murdoch was at the next day when I worked at The Simpsons. I think I told you this. And my mom was like, he's your boss. Go say hello to him. I was like, I'm not going to go say hello to Rupert Murdoch at dinner. <laughs> Fucking out of your mind. Yeah. By the way, Doughboy's finale, Munch Madness finale, check it out on Fox Nation. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Is yeah, that Rupert? the app? I think it's Fox Nation, yeah. Fox Nation. Yeah. Marty's got a show. Scorsese's on there. So oh, keep... wow. How about that? Yeah. Good Let's company. call him Marty. <laughs> Marty. I don't know him at all. I call him Marty. <laughs> uh, today I got the so yesterday I got the uh, the crunchy one, uh, which mm. I believe did one of you got the crunchy bowl. Yeah, shit. I, it was it, it was whatever. <laughs> um, she took two bites, then I ate it. I thought it was okay. I did like it better than what I had today because at least the granola, which I'm I'm not the biggest granola fan, but it gave it some crunch, some texture. Uh, today I got a, a classic make your own with coconut, chia pudding, honey, banana, blueberry, and chia seeds. Now a lot of their toppings, especially a lot of their stuff that that adds a texture to it, are nuts. I'm having some issues with with nuts right now, so like I had to stay away from it. So I really didn't He's have alert. anything. He became allergic to nuts, he believes. Yeah, I think I developed How a late in life. How many nuts nut have allergy. you been eating? I mean, a lot in my lifetime, <laughs> but um, uh, yeah, no, I, I, I like, I started having reactions to it. You don't even want to know. Should not be <laughs> not the evil so I, I don't think they should be. Yeah, and uh, the chia pudding at this place seems like ice cubes. Yeah, I mean, I think if you eat it right away, but it, it's 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 a really short window. Like if you're getting yeah. that to so go, you basically it's going had to like swamp water. I basically did. It was just it was just yeah. sweet goo. Uh, and <laughs> I didn't really, which usually we're fans really love of. It, yeah, we I was going to say that. We like sweet goo. I like sweet goo. <laughs> we, we, uh, me, we, look, but the I'd rather have a Coke Slurpee. In the, like in if the I'm going to have Madness. that many colors. Or a Baja Blast Freeze for look, that matter. Yes, people a 7-Eleven yeah. Coke Slurpee. Yeah. It's great. It's great. I like just like straight up like baby coconuts. Uh, yeah. Oh, that's fine. Like machete those things open, coconut water, and then like the soft baby coconut meat with a spoon. Sweet goo. You have a machete? She took it away. There, there was an incident. But wow. now he's turned to using a giant steak knife on a cutting board, right? And then bashing a weight on the knife to cut into the coconut. And it always gives me anxiety that he's going to either cut a finger off or crack the, you know, beautiful countertops in our kitchen with this. Wow. Apparatus that's happening. So, yeah. The machete was taken a long, long time ago. Yeah. Take away. 
Uh, I know you're saying it to like indicate bad judgment from, but from my standpoint, like that sounds cool as hell. Yeah, <laughs> I have like a, a system. Like, yeah. there's four cuts, like tic tac toe, one, two, three, four, and then you pop the top open, and when you get it just right, not you kidding. feel really cool. <laughs> yeah, you know, like, he did it girl. like when I had friends over the other night. I was like, we're doing coconut opening as a as a trick. Oh. <laughs> I impressed. didn't know the friends were coming over. Yeah. I like yeah. I brought five coconuts and no one else wanted them. Yeah. If you put me and Wags in a room with a coconut, you you come if you back were and there, we'd be dead. You guys the coconut would be open. <laughs> it would only be a day. We would die of starvation in a day. You just stare at it. <laughs> Hello. We wouldn't know how to go. I don't Everyone think we could have had enough. a coconut. No. I just had I ended up being all five of myself. I think that's a cool party <laughs> trick. That sounds cool. <laughs> that sounds cool as hell, if you ask me. But then after the first one, she sent me out to the backyard with the cake to. Eat the rest of them. Oh, when we did the the cake fight. Oh, oh, oh I the, missed it then, just by a little bit. I mean, the cake is still in the, the frosting's on the grass. We had a, we had, dogs uh, keep licking it. It's bad. We had a we <laughs> had a, we had a food fight in yes, the, in, yeah, in Johnny yeah. Lost yeah. Tie of the episode I was in. We were there was a big food fight and it was, uh, it's disgusting. It's it was, it's uh, it's, it's cake, so much grosser than you think. Gross. And yeah. also like those you know traditional cakes from Ralph's, you know, with like the super sugary. Oily icing, like I was slippering, slipper. I can't even speak. It was slippery. sliding yeah. all over the patio because it like creates this like oil slick. I'm like, this is really high quality icing we got here. It was truly wow. disgusting. And you yeah. have the two dogs, which is the terrifying. But so thing. you yeah. just like got it, like hose it off. Like, yeah, we, we scrubbed cleaned, that. Like the, the did cement you, yeah, we, part. Yeah, we did. We, 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 great job. Good. I gave you the worst high five. I'm like, sorry. <laughs> 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 it also flooded under the door inside. It did. Also, that was my um, fault. But then the it was all the problem though is like. I don't know if you've ever tried to pick up cake off grass. It's not really a thing. Yeah, a couple of times. Yeah, yeah you know, like, there's been a few times where yeah. we try to pick cake off <laughs> grass. Some of the cake, the the cake thing it up, yeah. will just stick. It's like, right, right. Yeah, there, so there's so like are, icing that's just like kind of like tr like trying to like go into the ground, yeah. but it, because it's so toxic, the ground's even rejecting it. And the dogs <laughs> keep going out there and like finding it and licking it. The little up. frosting lickers. Yeah. yeah, a little frosting liquors, and, and then they fucking up their stomachs. Oh yeah. Well, Bowie like was so hyper one day, and I was like, "What the hell is going on?" Yeah, because he's going outside, licking the vanilla icing for like five minutes, coming back in and like running around. <laughs> yeah. like, wow, yeah. that I'm exotic bean. Is <laughs> Dear God. Is that exotic? <laughs> Back to the yeah. exotic bean. I think this is the thing you think of when you're younger, like, oh, yeah. it's like to make TV or movies and like a food fight or food will be fun. And then it just is always fucking disgusting. Oh, it's yes, gross. for Never. sure. It's, it's horrible. Yep. No, I mean, I don't know if there's anyone who wants to get covered in cake out there. Our listeners probably. Maybe, but like any food, really. Yeah. yeah like, it's, it's gnarly. It is. Yeah. It it's rough stuff. Very disgusting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I heard that for the, the classic cream to uh, pie to the face bit, which was like, you know, an old, old vaudeville staple, the secret was shaving cream. Because if you actually use uh, like whipped cream, you know, that dairy is going to be pretty brutal on your skin. Makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, we didn't know. We didn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> we did not do that. That is a good note for the next cake fight. Yeah. Wives worked with some of those guys. <laughs> <laughs> we make jokes that he's old. You out there, fast forward. To the end of 2024, think of your goals. What can you do right now to give yourself the best chance of succeeding? If you want to learn a new language, you absolutely should get Babbel. Fast forward to the end of 2024. <laughs> I'll be alive, Wags. I got a lot of goals that I want to meet. Be a better you in 2024 with Babbel, the science-backed language learning app that actually works. Don't pay hundreds of dollars for private tutors or waste hours on apps that don't really help you speak the language. Babbel's quick 10-minute lessons are handcrafted by over 200 language experts to help you start speaking a new language in as little as three weeks. Babbel's designed by real people for real conversations. Babbel's tips and tools are approachable, accessible, rooted in real-life situations, and delivered with conversation-based teaching, so you're ready to practice what you've learned in the real world. You know, Mitch, I've been doing the Babbel, wow. and Babbel's convenient courses have helped me learn real-life conversation skills in Spanish. It's so easy to order food, ask for directions, speak to merchants, and just brush up on a language I haven't really spoken since my high school days wow. without having to consult language apps in well, those scenarios. Why? Well, that sounds good, and I believe it, because studies from Yale, Michigan State University, and others continue to prove Babbel is better. One study found that using Babbel for 15 hours is equivalent to a full semester at college. 
Babbel has over 16 million subscriptions sold. Plus, all of Babbel's 14 award-winning language courses are backed by their 20-day money-back guarantee. Wow. Here's a special limited time deal for our listeners. Right now, get 55% off your Babbel subscription, but only for our listeners at babbel.com slash doughboys. Get 55% off at babbel.com slash doughboys, spelled B-A-B-B-E-L dot com slash doughboys. Rules and restrictions may apply. Do it. All right, look. We got to. I think we got to get to the bottom of. of yes, we Oak should. Berry here, we should get. We should get to our fork scores here. I guess maybe spoon, spoon scores, scores would be more fitting. Spoon scores. Spoon so scores. here's how this will work. We'll each go around, give a closing argument, if you will, on this particular chain, Oakberry, and then the scale we use is zero to five forks. But today we will do zero to five spoons. Uh, uh, so Johnny TV to my left. Uh, your 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 thoughts on Oakberry, your summation, your closing argument, and your fork score. Okay, I love acai bowls. I think they're a great post-workout nutrition solution. Blah, blah, Oak berry. Blah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I was just about to say forks to be you. I had this thing. I was, <laughs> Sorry. And I just threw it away. And it's spoons anyway. I'm giving Oak berry, uh two spoons out of five. Wow. So you're coming at this from a place of enthusiasm for their core product, and you still are landing on 40%. Yeah. Two out of five. That's a yeah, pretty, yeah. It's pretty quite bad. I, 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 yeah. Wow. Okay. For, for the price and the cup and yeah. the – Yeah. There, there's problems. There's problems. Wow. Two forks. Uh, Taya, your, your thoughts, your fork score. Well, I've been very vocal about my thoughts on this product today. <laughs> uh, a bowl and a cup, not cute. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the fact that it just looks like someone had runny poops in a cup, also not cute. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a lot of sugar for no reason, and uh, I'm not a fan, and I think it's stupid. Overpriced <laughs> as well, so I'm giving it a negative one. Wow! Negative one spoon! Negative one spoon! Negative one! I'm the biggest this is, heel like, in the room! This has never <laughs> happened! <laughs> negative Don't one! Wiki even handle <laughs> negative spoons. Wow. Negative Spoon. This is legitimately wow. unprecedented in the history of Doughboys. No one has ever given a negative four, <laughs> four this spoon. Is great. I love Unbelievable. it. Because it's literally, like, I don't know why people would choose to eat that. And, like, it's overpriced and stupid. And wow. it's just a trend. And, like, find something else to eat. Negative wow. spoon sounds like my arch nemesis. <laughs> or I'm the spoon man. Negative. Or maybe I'm negative spoon. You're negative there's, spoon. There's, yeah, there's a, a superhero spoon superhero that's a positive there. spoon Really got to shit together. Negative <laughs> spoon. It's dumb as shit. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, wow. this is all tracking. This is uh, wow. This is this. Wow. wow, negative spoon. Yeah, it should be a character for sure later. Yeah, later. <laughs> Next character on season two of yeah. Johnny Loves Tyler. <laughs> yeah. negative, negative spoon. spoon. Negative spoon. That this all sucks. I mean, that is me. You're right. Yeah. I, I, I am. I'm just. I just don't let this like guy go off about Dune Part Two, and yeah, he got <laughs> negative spoon. <laughs> did you get the popcorn cup thing? I did not get oh. it. <laughs> all right. I did. I, I wanted, wanted to know it. how many spoons that one. Got <laughs> <laughs> I'm guessing that would be five spoons. Take that thing in the shower with you. Um, <laughs> oh, I got my pube shower cap on. Want. I can't use this thing. <laughs> Damn. Uh, let's be clear here. I think Oakberry maybe sucks. Uh, I, I, I I I felt bad when I was while we were eating it. It's like I feel bad shitting on this up and coming chain, and then to hear that it's like there's 600 it's locations. It's been around for a long time. It's been around. It, it it feels like it's venture capitalist bullshit or whatever. I don't know what the hell's going on. But it's been around for 100 years. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I think I think it has a, as much like core passion as like, you know, a shark tank pitch. It's like, it's sure. like we're, we're, this is a calculated thing. We think the market demands this, and that's why we are trying to get to capitalize on this. It's not because I actually like, like care so much about acai bowls and I want to make the best version of it. That's it what it feels like it comes healthy, for me. Like Exactly. Bleh. Yeah. 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 I don't think. I don't think. Just looking at you know the nutrition facts, I don't think that they are doing the macros, that. if you will. The macros. The macros, the don't, macros, add the macros don't add up. There's there, no there's, collagen. There's no bowl. Like you were saying, the bowl. The, there's no collagen. No, well, there there might be collagen. <laughs> I don't know. I'm still enough. unsure what collagen is. I mean, is. there probably <laughs> is. I'll tell you, collagen. You probably looks have to yeah. pay extra to add. The <laughs> um, <laughs> if you added protein and collagen and all this stuff, I yeah. mean, this would have been a four hundred dollar check. Oh, yeah. Okay. yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's it, it doesn't seem I mean the price point is insane. It's not in a bowl. It's wasteful. Logs like you're saying this is wasteful. This is going to uh headgum luckily has <sighs> some good recycled 
they, they yeah, Anya they, is very good about that. Yeah, they have. Some, but yeah, I, I'm never a fan of like if your whole thing is like, oh, we're like a healthy place and we care about the environment, then you have single use plastic. It was our same issue with goop. You know, it's yeah, like it's yeah. like, that's that contradicts your your stated values. Yeah. And the taste of it was just. The acai bowl, the smoothie I thought was straight up bad. Yeah. The acai bowl was <laughs> okay, but it was, yes. so much of it was just peanut butter. I just was like liking like a dog. I just liked eating peanut butter. Right, Jemmy? And then so, so loves peanut butter. Um, I think I can't go higher than, I think I could be, I I won't, I'm not going to steal the negative spoon because that's <laughs> your thing, but I'm going to be hand holding clubs, uh, club with, with John here and go uh, two spoons, why? Since that's what it gets from me. Two spoons. Uh, I want to apologize to our guests. First off, just in general, but also <laughs> for having to go to Oakberry. Like we were trying to figure out something because we 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 had a, a, a tight window to do this record, and so it was it was something proximal. Nutritious. Exactly, yeah, it was nutritious. ostensibly yeah. nutritious. Lies. But I I feel like this was a, was a huge letdown as an experience for all of we us. We should have gotten fucking wings. Yeah, well, oh, yeah. Come on, if you, if you if you were ever to return to the podcast, what would be your dream pick for like? We a know that you're review? never gonna come yeah, back. We, we, <laughs> but, <laughs> but, <laughs> Bravos. Rocco's, Rocco's wings. We'll go okay. Sunday. We'll go to a drag show. Yeah. Do some, you know, it'll be great. Wow. Sounds like a blast. I love that. Sounds like so much fun. Rocco's yeah. better than over, this shit. Oak, yeah. Oak's scary. <laughs> like, it's definitely w- would be better than Oak Berry. Um, I, I don't. I have a little bit of a. I, I, I don't love acai to begin with. It's it's fine, but it's not a thing I've ever ever craving. A few more things I just want to say about this concept. First off, when I tried to download the Oak Berry app to see if the app was crap, it defaulted to the Danish app. So they're like, isn't like a North American app. Uh, and that again speaks to me of like just how rapidly they're expanding. That they they're can't just control like, it. They have no infrastructure. Exactly. Amateurs. 100%. I love that. It's, same thing with their website. I love that. Yeah. It's like, it's, it's, it's just like it, 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 it defaults to a New York location instead of like their, their national website. Um, there's all sorts of issues with this. I felt really bad when I went there yesterday because there was just one employee working there. And I know that that's just like a Sad. shitty, lonely yeah. shift to be there by yourself. Uh, it so, was the same today for our large order. I it's just one person. Yeah, that's why we put it in early. It's, a, it's, it's a, a bummer. They're not taking care of their employees. Okay. Yeah, it, that that that's also a bad sign for me. Um, <laughs> just shitting on this place. Oh, well, you're Sorry. trying to be. Oh, I was no. gonna say you're trying I, to be the heel with it all, but then I think you're no, you're I, the yeah, hero. I, I, this I, is, you're right. I think you're the I've voice of reason. I've had bowls for the last like yesterday, the day before, and today. Wait, really? Yeah. Did, I, did he's a maniac. He's a mad uh, I went to, to Quench <laughs> and to like Juice Crafters. Okay, yeah, yeah. Um, Where would needs. you rank this on? But between the three, it's the worst. Wow, <laughs> it, it it definitely is the worst, and I think it's it's one of the worst of these bowl chains, and that's a bummer because it's right there, and I would get it if I liked it. Uh, I would get it more often if I liked it, but I don't. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go one and a half forks. Wow. One and a half spoons, rather. You uh, the highest score of the month. I mean, I was. Maybe I'll just say two, just so we're in we're in the hand holding club. Well, don't like. I mean, scared. It's the you're place. scared to admit how you really feel. <laughs> no, I mean, I'll, I'll stick with one and a half. I'll stick with one and a half. That's how, that's that's where this place. Our lands. first yeah. negative spoon or fork. That this really? is great. There can only yeah. be one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> did we have a pl- what? Do we have a, a club before? Like like the opposite of the Golden Plate Club? Didn't we establish something? Oh, the yes. reverse tenant club. Yeah, yeah. The reverse tenant club. Yeah, this one go and the newest entrant of the reverse tenant club. It all came because we were Ooh, talking about like tenant, of- if, if you took a shit in tenant and it goes backwards, we were talking about how it would go up your butt. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, so so. there's subjects, the- uh, you know, <sighs> that are spoken it's about. It's a good this- concept. <laughs> On this show, but it's true, right? No, 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 it's, it. it's, it's very thoughtful. It's, <laughs> <laughs> not what I thought of when I watched Tenet. Yes. <laughs> so this joins the reverse Tenet nice club. Analogy. First negative, I believe, the first negative score we've had. It one hundred percent is the first time we've had a negative score. Yeah, like, yeah from yeah. from an from an individual. Wow. Oh, there you go. That was yeah, our review. That's my new name for when I come on the podcast. Negative one spoon. <laughs> <laughs> it's badass. <laughs> Spoon Man sucks. You got a cooler spoon name. Yep. But it means we're like kind of on the same team. <laughs> spoon Man yeah, has yeah. cool yeah. music oh, yeah. though, right? What's that? Like Spoon Man's got good music. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah. That's kind of where I stole it from. Yeah, I <laughs> <laughs> Hey, that was our review of Oakberry. You've perhaps seen the now defunct One Gotta Go meme. Well, this is our original, unrelated concept, a single item must be banished beverage edition. Wow. These are compiled by our associate producer, Amelia Marino. Uh, who emailed as an addendum, I will grab pics later tonight or tomorrow a.m. because I'm trying to catch a screening of Dune 2, which she loved. She loved it. She loved it. Uh, but she did get these images together in time for She's the report. out of her mind. Also. And we have the first one. <laughs> the first one is coffee. So okay. the so a single item must be banished. Latte, cappuccino, espresso, or flat white? Question about flat white. Is that a foot? Some toes. 
That is it, a it great like, question. It, it looks does like look someone like snuck some Tootsies in there. Yeah. Like, like in kind of like, Cowboys like oops, oh. <laughs> <laughs> some, some toes sneak into the frame? Just Sorry, I put your coffee on the floor light. and then put my foot Can't into really the frame. see that now. <laughs> I'm like, what is that? It is, I think it's some sort of cook your apple biscuit. Fritter, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. There was like a fritter. There was like a, there was like, I think it was a, <laughs> I think it was a Madden, uh, like Madden 22 or 23. There's like one of the Madden games there was an adverti- a social media post that a guy put up. Uh, was supposed to be like official for advertising the game. And it was like a photograph of the game by a Christmas tree. But then someone pointed out that in a reflection of one of the ornaments, the guy was just naked. <laughs> <laughs> for Madden? Like, yeah. yeah, for Madden. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It wasn't John Madden. It was... wasn't John okay. Madden. No, it was like whoever the social media guy had done it. And it was it was the same sort of thing. It was like sneaking those feet in there. Like yeah, it was like PR person. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta find I gotta find what exactly happened. Oh, but that's my, my memory of it. Um I think for me. I guess I'm, probably flat white is the one I get the least frequently, but like I just as long as I got the the espresso and the latte, I'm good to go. So either the other, those other two can be uh can can be banished. I I need the latte. The latte stays for me. That's the one I I want. Um, mm, espresso. Those can be fun. I guess the flat white is the one I drink the least. What is flat white? That was literally flat, my flat white is like no two idea. parts <laughs> cream, two parts espresso. It's like a like a British like coffee type thing. I think is that correct? Kind of like a latte, but with. It's got, oh, a, lot, it's, it's it's got, got a lot go of creams. That's got to go. I'm thinking that plus the, the apple fritter foot. <laughs> it's got to go. Flat white out yeah. here. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right. Flat white describes a lot of our listeners. Uh, white flat earthers. <laughs> <laughs> Next up. Uh, wait. Okay. We've we, we've got a T. Yes. yes. Next up. Wait, so tea. we're getting rid of the flat white. Right? Flat white. Yeah. Okay. Flat we all, we all agree. Okay. Uh, Hit the bricks. Black white. tea, green tea, herbal tea, or chai. Whew. This is hard. Oh. Uh, I got to have my herbal tea just because I ha- that's my like wind down beverage at night. I need herbal tea too. I like I like herbal tea. tea bags. I'm with you. So I got to take that one. I guess I probably get rid of the green tea. This is this is not an easy decision for me. Yeah, yeah. Green maybe. tea is has got so many health benefits, Wags. Yeah, but caffeine. But black tea has the most caffeine. I do. Yeah, that's that's the thing. If I'm gonna have a coffee substitute, I feel like I need the black tea. I maybe get rid of chai. Mm. Honestly, I mean, I like chai too, but I I don't know. I'm you know. voting for chai to go. I drink chai more than green tea, though. I'll drink green tea at a restaurant sometimes, and I'm usually like not stoked, but I drink it anyway. Sure. Yeah. Uh, uh, I mean, we don't have to come to a consensus. These can be individual answers. I think we I think do. Go with... <laughs> okay, fine. I, I, I still probably have to. I, I give the slight edge to chai over green tea. I'd rather keep chai. But if we, if we have to All get right, rid fine. of one, I'll bend. I'll get rid of green tea. With I'm you. not bending into anything. <laughs> <laughs> Chai's gotta go. All right, Chai goes. Chai goes. All right, next up. <laughs> chai goes. I'm not gonna argue. <laughs> uh, wine. We got red wine, white wine, rosé. Easy for me. Or sparkling. Get that rosé out of here. I don't yeah. need it. Mm. It's kind of a fun summer drink. Yeah, but if you have champagne and rosé, I would pick champagne over rosé. Uh, yeah, you're so right. So I'm going to say rosé can go. Yeah, that's fair. All right. that that, that We can excise the rosé. Yeah. Um, next up, uh, Amelia's calling the soft drink classics. This is... 7-Up, gonna... Dr. Pepper, Pepsi, or Fanta. The big four sodas. 7-Up, <laughs> yeah, Dr. Pepper, Pepsi, Amelia, and Fanta. don't make this too hard on us. <laughs> With I'm... Pepsi, 7-Up, Dr. Pepper, and Fanta. I'm going to pretend these are all diets. In my head, <laughs> not di- diet sodas. Yeah. Do you not drink the full sugar soda? No, no like, but I, even as someone with a sweet tooth, like, don't drink calories is like one of the rules. Like, I know, like but the you diet drink gives you, you drink cancer. That bowl. Wait, what gives you cancer? Uh, all the stuff like in, like the artificial sweeteners and stuff oh, and yeah. diet sodas. Yeah, sure. It's really bad for you. It's every I mean the whole everything's bad for you. So here we are. But uh, but whatever. You want to live forever or get buried in a huge coffin? <laughs> I think I'm getting buried in a huge coffin no matter what. <laughs> I think I'm not going to live forever or, and I'm going to be buried in a huge coffin. Um, I think this one for me, honestly, and I like it, but I think I'd maybe get rid of 7-Up here. Or I mean, I don't know. Honestly, I, I, I I'm, like a, I'm getting rid of Fanta. It's got to go. Yeah, maybe. 7-Up is usually one of my uh, ingredients to make sangria. With mm, okay. 
Seven Up is argument. good. I mean, it is weirdly tough because no one wants to get rid of Dr. Pepper, right? No. Yeah, Dr. Pepper stays. Uh, I guess you keep. I mean, I, I, in this, I guess in the scenario, these are like the four soda options. What it's not the, like Coke also exists. I was so. gonna say, what if what the if they keep dystopia? Coke and Dish Pepsi. Coke and Pepsi were there. Pepsi's out. Yeah. Oh, 100%. Yeah. Pepsi, Pepsi, Pepsi is gone. Pepsi. I guess with this particular lineup, I probably also agree with Fanta. Um, but I do like Fanta. I like an orange yeah. soda. That's yeah, I like an orange soda. But then I want like the like orange once crush. in a while. Can I be honest with you here? Yeah. I think Pepsi maybe goes. Yeah, maybe Pepsi goes. Just Let's... like Dr. Pepper's doing the job of like it's. Yeah. I don't know. I'll go with Dr. Pepper over Pepsi. You, you'd keep Dr. Pepper yeah. over Pepsi. Yeah. Yeah. Pepsi's gross. Yeah. Then again, we did have. Pepsi was really hitting when we had a Taco Bell. But we had we had some good Taco yeah, Bell. Yeah, but Fountain. fountain Pepsi. Yes, fountain drinks. Drinks I mean, that's a whole other discussion. Different than the two, the, different than the two two liters, the two uh, like sixteen ounce bottles we have there <laughs> in this scenario. Yeah, I think we'll get rid of the Pepsi. All right, we'll later. get rid of the Pepsi. Okay. All right, that's fair. Um, next up, new age soft drinks. Get rid of all category. <laughs> Olipop, Poppy. Olipop. Oh, I don't know what the fuck this is. Wait, does any, do any of them? Do any of them advertise on the show? Did Olipop no. advertise? Olipop in- used to, but they don't anymore. We love Olipop. We love Olipop from Hoppy, like a Doughboy. Is Poppy the good, one yeah. that is like the probiotic? Yes, it is. Yes. Uh, I now I have not had these other ones. Yeah, Wild no Wonder idea what those or Tapache. I haven't had any of these. Yeah. This is the stuff they sell at Erewhon probably for ten bucks a can. <laughs> yeah, I will say the the only one I've had with any sort of regularity is Olipop. They've got a few of their varietals that are pretty fun. Um, their fake fruit punch is pretty good. Uh, it's like a fake Hawaiian punch. Yeah. So I guess I probably keep Olipop and the rest uh, I don't really care about. It's just a funny thing with these. They're like, so does that like make you shit? And it's like, well, no, who wants Yeah, this? I don't want that. Yeah. I'm like, come on, give it to me. Like, yeah, like keep my <laughs> deep bloating. It's good for your gut uh, is health. All probiotics? I, I like probiotics. Yeah, it's good for your gut, gut health. I think a lot of them have probiotics. While you're eating all that Taco Bell, you should be concerned about we that We should too. be drinking. Yeah, we true. should be drinking yeah. this. I, uh, I don't know. Um, I think, I think those I would, strawberry, the fake little dra- strawberry drawings are giving me suspicious yeah, looks. All right, let's get, her, let's get her wild, wild wonder. wonder. You're, you're wild out of here. You're out. Here. You're out, wild wonder. Must be banished. All right, next up. Okay. Oh, got, my oh, God. Oh. Coke variety. This is so fucked Actually, up. Actually, I, I totally know what I'm going to say. Coca-Cola Classic, Diet Coke, Coke Zero, and Cherry Coke. I know what I'm going to say, Diet too. Coke is gone. Yeah, oh. I think I'd also get, really? pick out Diet Coke. Zero sugar. Yeah, Coke I've, is so much better than Diet Coke. I would say I would get rid of zero sugar. I would get rid of Coke. Coca Cola Classic. You get rid of Coke Heavy. Oh, How yeah. dare you? Wow. <laughs> I, I don't drink Coke. Wow. John. Diet Coke or Coke Zero? It's like a, a drink you grew up like as a child on, you know? Yeah. Are we erasing it from time? Yes. <laughs> yes. That's the rule of the game. <laughs> I didn't realize that. It was no longer that Mad Men. There's, yeah, it, it's it's gone. No, zero forever. sugar is then so much better than Diet Coke. I agree. Cherry I, Coke. Cherry Coke. I love Cherry Coke. I love Coke. a Cherry Coke. It's a, a good, Coke. it's a good movie theater. Us, us food have, like, people like Cherry Coke. Cherry <laughs> Dr. Pepper. Like vanilla Dr. Pepper. Food Nation. Yeah. yeah. Look, I I think one, I think it's either Coke Zero or Diet Coke, but if you're all on then it, Diet Coke. it's Diet Coke. Diet Coke's got to go. All right, then I'll, I'll, I'll join you, Coke, but I don't like it. Because I like Coke Zero better than Diet Coke. Yeah, yeah. me too. That's my whole right. argument. Diet Coke is gone. All right. I'm sad, but. Diet Coke is banished. <gasps> Next up, oh Sparkly. Oh, this is so oh easy I know, for I know what I'm going to say. I know. It's so easy for me. Go for it. LaCroix is gone. Get it out of here. Oh, my God. Really? Yeah. Liquid Death, I can't even stand that. I can't even look at it. Oh, we love it. We, we're we're, 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 we're such, fans of Liquid Death. Are they sponsoring the show? Uh, they, in a we, way, they, we tried. They didn't answer us. <laughs> well, fuck them then. Get them out of here. We love. We 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 got we got some Liquid Death friends. Yes, yeah. yeah. I feel like I've seen Poly it Man so Dam. many at like yeah. wrestling shows. People have like these giant cartons of Liquid Death backstage, and yeah. I'm just like, why is this? It kind of grew. I don't want to drink something that's called Liquid Death. It kind of grew right. on me because it's so stupid. <laughs> yeah, and it, I like stupid stuff. <laughs> Well, you're Poly on Band the Dam hooked us up with Liquid <laughs> Death. We, they, they, we had the hearse in front of our show once. Yeah, we did, yes. They, 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 they've been lovely to us. But I will say, I generally am a fan of Liquid Death. I have Liquid Death at, at home, and I, I like You the, had one after like Munch Madness. I, well, I did have one after Munch Madness at the Dynasty Typewriter. LaCroix, for me, is my is my pick. I, that's the one I got to go. I, I, I love Topo Chico. Topo Chico's great. I definitely keep that. In a bottle. We got Topo Chico so in fun. a bottle. Oof. Yeah, and then the Spin Drift is, is another spin go-to for me. Spin are fine. They've almost gone into LaCroix category where I don't care about them anymore. But they- Going back to the Coca-Cola comparison, if yeah. we had had a glass bottle Coca-Cola like the Mexican Coke on the other one, that would be like the winner winner. Oh, for yeah. sure. Of all yeah. the winners. Because that's 
Good call. Or perfection. A fountain McDonald's Coke is very good. That, that uh, one's, that's always hit. That is but a fountain McDonald's Diet Coke. Jesus. That's I no. Mean, <laughs> no. Um, I think we're. Di- I feel like we're divided here, so I'm just gonna. Uh, I'm down for Lacroix. You're down LaCroix, for Lacroix. Okay. Lacroix has got a French name. It was started in Minnesota by like. You don't. You don't. Right? Budge, it's so. an American company. Right? Yeah. It I is. mean, yeah. if we're gonna say yeah. like this, look, I it's just don't. Uppity. The liquid death. I don't like anything that people think. Like, it bothers me. I don't know. That's fair. The, 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 I get it, it, it's liquid a bu- death. I think it's like like sludge at the bottom of a coffin or something. Like it's just like <laughs> right. I don't like it. It does evoke that a little bit. Yeah, yeah it's it's a little edge lord. Um, like so are we. I like irony more than <laughs> like. What should we name our water? How about Lacroix? <laughs> yeah, La Croix. La Croix. Well, what there is called La Croix. Yeah, they're both. But they started in Minnesota, right? Like it's just like an American. They, they are. They're a Midwest yeah. Midwest brand. Whatever. Get out of here, Lacroix. You're right. fucked. Yeah. Lacroix's gone. Liquid death. Fuck you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> now we have milk and milk alternatives: cow's milk, almond milk, oat milk, and soy milk. I mean, for me, I'd pick almond milk just because I, you know, again, I'm having nut issues, but also the. Uh, I shouldn't just say I'm having nut issues. Um, and, and also, yes, uh, the uh, the but I but almond is uh, almond milk is very uh, ecologically wasteful to produce. It, there's a yeah. lot of water that goes in to to make that happen versus well, I, oat milk mm, or soy milk. You've won I'm me get, over. Yeah, I'm getting rid of regular milk. Me like, too. Wow, oh. lactose. Lactose. No bueno. How about no, what if it was non-lactose uh, milk? No, I just like, don't like it. Okay. No, I'm an oat, oat milk girly. Uh, I, I do, do like I do lactose. Milk. I do lactose free milk, and I do enjoy it. I you know do. what? I'll get rid of regular milk. Why not? I'm getting. I, I'm not. I, I won't. I won't. Is that do whole that. fat? I'm not going to do it. Yeah, that's a that's a that's a, a vitamin D four percent milk. Organic. Enjoy no cheese. Oh. How's that's that? not how this wor- exercise oh, really? works. No, it's this, milk to drink. This, no, is it, hold on. Cheese is a totally different cheese category different than milk. Cheese, Watch, I'm in. you're getting Ice rid of cream, milk. I'm you in. don't get cheese. No. That's what happens. That's not how it works. You, you, you guys made this bed for yourselves. <laughs> <laughs> no, me yelling at two wrestlers. <laughs> <laughs> We're <spoon laughs> people. Only milk. It's a race from time, not cheese, not ice cheese, cream. Yes. Cheese does not go not anywhere. Cheese cake, right? That's just funny to think of how easy the two people on the inner side of the couch. Could kick our ass in yes. seconds. Yeah. Quick. Very quick. I'd roll into a ball. My specialty is running away. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next up. Juice. We got orange juice, apple juice, cranberry juice, Ugh. and grapefruit juice. What 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 is the uck? Is that a juice in general? <laughs> apple. <laughs> I had a bad apple experience when I was a kid, and ever since then, I just can't Really? Do it. Wow, interesting. And it's, it's, it was a long time ago. Oh, and it's was, just, it, was there mold in it? No, it's just okay. like- What kind of apple juice are you drinking? I stomach thing, I like, drank it and like threw up when I was like eight. Yeah. And since then, like never again with apple juice. That was yeah, tuna right. fish for me, but then I came back around on it. It took, oh, you came it back took for a while. It. I came back for it. It took a while, though. I've it never was. even tried. Like, I just- I'm going to also give, say apples- Juice because I think that that wow. Mott's apple juice specifically is very sweet. Yeah, I am not as we have established already a sweets person. I, I think that's I think fair. we might have to do apple. Ju- I love apple juice, but I, my choice here would be grapefruit juice. Wow, I love a grapefruit juice. I love its tartness. I think it's great with a cocktail. Yeah, I was gonna say a little paloma. Yeah, a lot of fun. Um, I love. I mean, I, I got to keep orange. I got to keep cranberry. Yeah. So I, I, apple would also be my choice. All right, I'm apple sad juice. about it. Juice apple must be banished. Keeps yours. Facial facial skin tight. Is that true? That's what our truth says. Wow. Really? That's, it's, it's that's gotta, his secret to staying young is grapefruit juice. It's probably I mean, has. He looks thirty that's years exactly old. Exactly like he does looks, looks great. Yeah. I don't know if it's true or not. That's that's what he said though. There it must go. have um. What do they call it again? Antioxidants. Uh, no, no. But the, what's the collagen? Co- it must have collagen. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna go with a no. <laughs> but uh, all right, last one. <laughs> Uh, these are so-called wow. health drinks: coconut water, protein shake, kombucha, and green juice. Oh God, this is uh, actually I know what I'm. I'm looking at you guys for this one because <laughs> I, I think the really booch. Sure. Kombucha? The booch, booch oh really? Boot. Well, like you already heard about my love for coconuts. Yeah. Right. And yeah. My go-to now is coconut water, ice, protein powder in that thing. Shake it up, drink it. And green juice is good. Green juice is good. Uh, I love green, green juice. juice. Can be good. Kombucha, I don't hate, but I, if I had to lose one, yeah, yeah I don't need kombucha. Kombucha I'm, also, it feels a very like a. Uh, 
when the, like it felt very hipstery for a while. I know that it's much has a much bigger history than that, but I'm saying yeah. for a minute there, there was like kombucha dispensary. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, it's like acai is the same sort of thing. This is a thing that's been you know trends. Yeah, it's right. it's been consumed for thousands of years, but it's yeah. it's but, a but current trend. There's like yeah. micro brew kombucha places. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I'm gonna go with kombucha too because. That can boost looks kind of gross. Actually. With the coconut and the protein and the green drink, you can really like have a little nutritious situation. Yeah, and that and again, like you guys are saying, the kombucha looks nasty. I don't it, know where Amelia not, found that photo. That looks like a homebrew. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, that's yeah. not cute. It's no. a microbrew because there's a live culture inside the kombucha, which there's makes something it living probiotic. in there. It's yeah. like yogurt. Yes, yeah, that looks like it's got a little bit too much of the. It's fucking nasty. Yeah, I know what's going on. It's what? fucking out of here, Wags. Looks I, like old my. kombucha. Yeah, get out of here. <laughs> wow. Wow. Was that the last one? That was the last one. That was a single item must be banished, just like a restaurant via feedback. Let's open up the feedback. And today we have an email from James I. They write, here's the scenario. You're at a frozen yogurt place and can only put three things on top of your frozen cream. What do you choose? I choose hot fudge. Love you guys. So James I taps out at one item. I was like, what? Yeah, he said three and then he like gave us one. triple <laughs> hot fudge? Uh, three thing, <laughs> three things that you could put on this. I would say. Wait, I mean, so you're at a frozen yogurt. You're at a place. frozen yogurt shop. You get three toppings. Ooh, this is hard. Hot fudge, Oreo, Butterfinger. Pretty good. That's great. Choice. I I love the mini M and M's. I feel like they're always like they give a little, they have a nice bit of texture. Um, and then remind, remind me of a McFlurry. I would get caramel. Um. You're a, you're a caramel nut, it sounds like. I like caramel. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Caramel, maraschino cherries, <sighs> and mm. like gummy bears. Because when I was a kid, we'd go to wow. like Baskin Robbins and we would get, that's what I would get on my little like Sunday. When it's so funny there. you say that because frozen yogurt does make me think of gummy bears for some reason. I mean, yeah. I, it's not the, it should Yeah, you could get like yes. the gummy bears or Sour Patch Kids or something like that. So. That's a good call. Wow. Yeah. If I said fruit, is that, uh, that doesn't count? Well, I think you'd have to be more specific than fruit. Yeah, what kind of fruit? Yeah. But they have those compotes, like strawberry compote. Yeah, those can be fun. Compote a part or... of me feels like st- strawberries with frozen yogurts, but it, it all depends on what, what t- if you're going. Yeah, yeah. Are you going sweet? or Are you going like healthier frozen yogurt? I don't, I, that's that's you just the said big question. Cream. I think whatever you're feeling right now. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe it's that vanilla bean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What's the baseline yogurt? Here? Go. <laughs> right. You're talking just bean cream. <laughs> I, I think I think the Oreos are a great. Uh, great I think the Oreos. I, I would I would want Oreos in my top three for sure. Oreos are great. Which, Little cookies and cream situation. Yeah. yeah. So I think wags for me. This is now I'm doing the this is the fat guy version, but. Oreos, chocolate fudge, and f- fucking little M and M's. That's what I would do. <laughs> that's the it's a, but that's what I would want. And, and I did the healthy one. What'd you do? Exactly what you did, except I went Butterfinger instead of M&M's. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm looking at the, I had to close the tab where I tried to, uh, in vain, tried to search for uh, Madden's social media Christmas penis and could not find <laughs> the photo that I That's remember. That's what you were doing over yeah, there? Yeah, I couldn't find it. Uh, but I, I saw it. Yeah. <laughs> I saw it in the past. Someone, over there. Someone's gonna pull up some weird crap. But I opened up the yogurt land one just for inspiration. I forgot about cheesecake bites. That's Ooh. a fun one if they've got them. Yeah. You know what I like in uh, the frozen yogurt is they have like little uh, strawberry balls that burst in your mouth. Do you know what I'm talking about? Like I know are those are like little yeah, bobas. Like a boba, oh, yeah, like yeah. a little a strawberry boba. Thank you. Those That's are, better than you, uh, no. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, like a strawberry yeah. popping boba is what That's specifically they what have That's what I'm here. talking about, yes. Oh, you know what? I forgot about sprinkles. Ah, I do love some sprinkles. I think I might go like a, I might go like a, like a, a chocolate sauce and M&M's and a sprinkle. Like a rainbow or a chocolate sprinkle? I think in this scenario, I'm probably going chocolate sprinkles. All right. But I do love a rainbow good. sprinkle. It just depends on the content. No, no, that's a good call. Yeah. All... It's just very funny that- these two have to fly off to a wrestling show uh, in another country. Yeah. And we're like, duh, gummy bears. And we're wasting their fucking time. <laughs> this is going to be the highlight of our day. Listen. <laughs> this is going to be fun. Home and, like, pack stuff. Like, <laughs> Gotta go do shit. Yeah. That's we what like, the, this yeah. podcast always is. So we're always wasting our guest time. Yeah. It just is and James, extra. I, I'll Listen, tell you. Listen, you came over today. and shot a bunch of episodes. 
He's a series regular, everybody. Wow. Of yeah, Johnny wow, Loves wow. Kaya. I've never been to that and, before. Uh, you know, <laughs> <laughs> you, let me, you let me throw cake at you. It's, it's, it was a blast. I, I, I had know. a lot of blast. You played along yeah. with our dumb ideas. It was, so. well, I don't, you, you guys rule. And I will. <laughs> Wags, you can you can wrap it up, but let's plug the show. Yeah, if you have yeah. a question to come about the world of chain restaurants, you email us at bird, feedback at birdfuck.com or leave us a voicemail at 830-GO-DOW. Bird That's 830-463-6844. And to get the Doughboys Double Weekly bonus episode, plus our entire pre-2018 back catalog, subscribe at patreon.com slash doughboys. Our producer is Emma Erdrich. Our social producer is Amelia Marino. Our engineer is Casey Donahue. Our video editor is Mike Dorfman. Our guest today, Johnny TV and Taya Valkyrie. The musical episode of Johnny Loves Taya is out right now on the AEW YouTube Music by Brenna Campbell. So how about that? Check that out. It's, the music is great. Yeah, the music Brenna, is fantastic. Shout out to Brenna. Yeah. We've been... The director is right over here sitting here the whole time. Justin, Justin Donaldson. 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 Our old friend. Our old by the yeah. way, if I sound good, uh, it's all Brenna. <laughs> <Our artistry. laughs> Taya has a wonderful voice. <laughs> Listen. A surprisingly wonderful voice. But uh but Britta <laughs> made magic very quickly. Yeah, no, we've worked really hard on this series. There's gonna be ten episodes total. Like uh we said the musical episode just came out yesterday. The new episodes come out every Wednesday on the AEW YouTube. Please make sure you check them out. You can catch up on them on there's actually a specific Johnny Loves Tie playlist that you can watch them from beginning to end. And yeah. I'm excited you guys get to see it. Thank you for being part of it. Of course. Watch and, my uh, episodes. Watch every episode. Watch, watch them it. all. Yeah. Take it all out. Enjoy them and let us hear what you think on all our social media platforms. Thank you all so much yeah. for being here. What a hoot. Yes. What, a, what a joy. I'm going to start saying hoot. Please uh, don't now he's take anything from him. All the time. <laughs> By the way, why? This, this has Ty, been a hoot. Tyler looked at me and went, bird fuck? <laughs> <laughs> our website is birdfuck.com. <laughs> The show's bad. We warned you guys. We're trying to warn you. <laughs> Given this, who I get it. Given this negative <laughs> theme, give right? this negative one spoon. <laughs> <laughs> That'll do it for this episode of Doughboys. Until next time for the spoon, my name Mitchell. I'm Nick Weiger. Happy eating. See ya. Want to dress like the Doughboys? Get all your favorite Doughboys merch at doughboys.kinshipgoods.com. Sources for the intro are in the episode description. That was a HeadGum Podcast.